storage and it has a battery that can last for seven to eight hours. Mm -hmm. In also in this bulletin, each Ghanaian owes about 18,000 Ghana cities after the country's debt stock hit 610 billion in December last year. And in business. Interest rates plummet to 25.99% the 12th consecutive week this year as government exceeds T-bills target by 41%. We've got details on the Joy Business Report. I will tell you later a story of a man who was stigmatized by his own mother after being diagnosed with tuberculosis. If my mother can meet, then we'll be Calling the children that they should not name me so they don't know that this is the sickness that is worried me. This are more with me, Mami Sinyamiche Thompson. Please stay. Now, the industrial action by teachers in public basic schools is expected to continue today as members of NAGRAT, NAT, and the Coalition of Concerned Teachers vow not to return to the classrooms until concerns about their conditions of service and other matters are addressed. A meeting between the teachers and the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations is rescheduled to today. Here's Vice President of NAGRAT, Jacob Anaba. The strike has not been called off. We had an invitation from the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations to attend the meeting today, but we could not honor it because most of our members who are supposed to attend this meeting are outside Accra. Therefore, we wrote back asking them to reschedule the meeting for Monday. So we are expecting a response from the ministry. Yes, we know the effect of a strike on our pupils and, and students. And uh, as we always do, when we get back after the strike, we ensure that teachers who honor all what they are supposed to do that was lost during the strike period. Meanwhile, students in over 500 public senior high schools will receive an iPad under the Ghana Smart School project. Under this initiative, students will have access to e-learning materials as the government commits to leveraging technological innovations to prepare them for the challenges and opportunities of the fourth industrial revolution. Nana Jenfi Ajumbo is executive director for the National Distance and Learning Center or the results of the data that's suggested for the, plat the tablets that we had. And those tablets, it has a four inches screen mm. and it has a four gigabyte RAM that is storage and it has a battery that can last for seven to eight hours mm. and it, it has a battery pack that is solar based so those that are not in the places they have uh, electricity there, they could also leverage on it. Again, equity. So we don't want to leave anybody out. Tablets are water resistant and it's durable. And if it hits on the floor, it wouldn't do anything. The Away from that, each Ghanaian could be owing about 18,000 Ghana cities if the country's debt stock should be paid today. It's coming after the Ghana total debt stock reached 610 billion cities ending December last year. George Riafe has the rest of the story. We arrive at this conclusion by sharing the total debt stock as at the end of December last year divided by the country's population size ending 2023. However, looking at the composition of Ghana's debt stock, all of them would not be paid today. But if all the debt should be settled today, then that is the amount every Ghanaian should be paying. The Bank of Ghana's data showed that from December 2022 to December 2023, Ghana's debt stock went up by 163 billion Ghana cities. The Bank of Ghana's data also shows that the debt stock has been going up last year as it stabilized in some months and shut up significantly. But however, some have expressed concerns about how the restructuring of the country's debts and freezing payments to the external creditors is an impacting that much on the country's debt stock ending December last year. However, Joy Business is learning that the depreciation of the Ghana city over the past months in 2023 may have played a significant role in the spike of the debt stock for last year. George Riafi with that report. Away from that, a senior member of the NDC and former Interior Minister Chris Yehoy has expressed regret over remarks made at a reception for NDC's running mate, Professor Jainano Pokwajiman, where he suggested she should be prepared to become the next president in case something happens. Take a listen. I was not prepared to be president at that time. But nature 
they just kill things in such a way that President Mills had to give way to John Mahama. Anything can happen. So, Nana, be ever prepared, like your motto says. Be ready. Anything can happen. And you can become the president of the Republic of Ghana. Yeah, Nana. Well, Mr. Ahoy has clarified his comments and saying that it had been misinterpreted and apologized for any confusion caused. My colleague Max Olagbagba has details of that statement. He says, I sincerely regret the wrong impression that my comments has created. Indeed, it was not my intention and never will it be my intention to pray that His Excellency John Mahama does not serve his full four-year term if he wins the 2024 general elections. I concede that I misspoke on the occasion. I accept the criticisms in good faith, even though some of the criticisms arise out of a deliberate misrepresentation of my statement. He continues to say, indeed, Professor Jenan Opukwajiman, in response to my toast, pointed out the erroneous impression created by my statement and was categorical in asserting that she was certain that His Excellency John Mama will win the 2024 general elections and serve his full four-year term. It is unfortunate that my statement appears to have taken the shine off what was otherwise a cheerful and light-hearted occasion. I hereby render an unreserved and unqualified apology to His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, Professor Nana Jinopokwajiman, the leadership and rank and file of the great NDC. Thank you, Maxwell Agbagba. Now, some lawyers indicate adhering strictly to the rules on charging client fees may be difficult. The Ghana Bar Association has established fees that clients are expected to pay its members based on the type of case and the years of experience a lawyer has, among other factors. Overestimating fees is considered misconduct, and lawyers can risk losing their licenses. Conversely, undercharging is deemed detrimental to the legal profession by the head of Ahmed Legal Counsel Musa Ahmed is imploring on the General Legal Council to reconsider some of its rules. He spoke on the law. We should not uh, simply remove the profession from the normal uh, law of contracts. You see, we talked about consideration. What is the value of the consideration? We cannot adhere strictly to this. If, for instance, I have a client who is... Um, known to me for many years. He's giving me several things that I cannot quantify in money. If he comes to me with his case, shouldn't I have the discretion to slash the fees for such a person? You see, certain factors must be considered. So uh, for me, we should have exceptions to the general rule. Now, he was stigmatized and discriminated against by his own mother after being diagnosed with tuberculosis, abandoned by his family, and having to deal with the disease all alone nearly took the life of this 38-year-old man. Joy Prime's Iman Ojibenu has the rest of the story. Meet Christian Nyalete, a 38-year-old driver whose life took an unexpected turn when he was diagnosed with tuberculosis. Little did he know that his diagnosis would not only test his physical resilience, but also challenge the bonds within his family. Christian's world crumbled as he faced a heartbreaking reality. The very person who should have provided comfort and support, his own mother, turned away. Stigmatized and isolated, Christian was forbidden from sharing meals with his family. A painful separation that extended to his own children. Now my mother changed her lifestyle to me. And now if I speak, my mother will be shouting, shouting, hey, Christian, hey. I told you not to be spitting uh, at the public, so I should go outside and go and, oh, even if my, my children come back to school and they come closer to me like that, hey, if my mother can meet, hey, they will be calling the children that, that, that they should not name me, so they don't know that this is the sickness that is worried me. And that report by Imano Jivanu bringing us to the end of the bulletin. I am Amisi Nyamiche Thompson. Business is next on the Super Morning Show. Ah, Bobo, so have your engine now. It is half man, half amazing. Thanks to cause and you can feel better energy.
can't touch this. Actually, guys, so Sancho's engine just died like that. Yes, sir. Somebody managed to convince him that there is a better engine oil than quartz. And he switched. Ah, Sancho Panza now, which engine oil can be better than quartz? No other, my guy. Quartz with its age resistant technology, it keeps your engine younger for longer. Now, you know, have you guys seen the new bottle design? It's superb. Quartz 9000 from Total Energy's DA improves fuel efficiency. Why do you think Mr. Mane and Logo so have taken the Quartz Nation movement World Cup like that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Keep your engine younger for longer. Millennium Insurance has enhanced its motor insurance policy cover to make life more comfortable for you, our valued clients, and in the event of vehicle breakdown whilst on the road. To ensure your safety and that of your vehicle, Millennium Insurance will ensure that your broken down vehicle is towed to a safe place within one hour of call and 30 kilometers radius from the place of breakdown. The service is absolutely free. Millennium Insurance, your trustworthy partner, is on standby to be of service to you. Contact us now on 0501-394-997 or 0501-285-821, 0501-394-997 or 0501-285-821. Millennium Insurance, your trustworthy partner. No matter your water needs, Syntex has it all. Syntex Tank was first to introduce double layer tank and now you can have as many layers as you want. Syntex Tank was first to introduce white inner layer tanks in Ghana and now introduces the customer specs order which will let you order any color and size you want. Syntex Tanks gives you the biggest warranty of 7 years which no other tank gives you. So whatever your water consumption, size of project or demand, choose Syntex Tank. Syntex Tank, stress-free. Syntex Tank, reliable. Syntex Tank, maximum guarantee. Call 0244-335-168. Kumasi 0505-555-666. Or visit SyntexGH.com. Syntex Tank, a year strong, a year tough. This election, ask your favorite politicians about their plans for tackling climate change and improving access to water, sanitation, and hygiene. Let this define who you vote for. At Water Aid, we believe in the future where our leaders prioritize climate change, water, sanitation, and hygiene. Your vote can make this possible. Hello? Yeah, Kofi. Charlie, we spoke about going to Imperial for our motor insurance today. Oh. Shit. Are you the one to remind me? I am at Imperial already. What? I told you about their motor insurance promo, right? Yeah. Ah, this time, it is reloaded, my wow. brother. Imperial General is saying, uh -huh. come insure with them from now till the end of April and get yourself handsome rewards. Uh -huh. Four coupons, special souvenirs, gift vouchers, and many, many more. And here's the catch. Uh -huh. During this reward period, eh, uh -huh. your motor insurance policy will give you an automatic one-year life insurance insurance cover my brother <laughs> and now you can also get brand new ties and other car accessories as well it is really reloaded everybody qualifies just insure your car and you are done hey charlie i hear i can even do it online and still get my reward oh yes don't slow talk to your broker agent or call us on 0577-667-436 for further details you can also follow us on all our socials tcnc supply imperial general assurance solid protection <laughs> uh, hello? Yo, bro! SG Ghana has done it again. Low interest rates on loans this year too. Yeah, this is so beyond. Tally, tally, I did throw, throw inside in. Let me call you back, back. Call SG Ghana rather. Collect loan and buy car, my guy. Low, very low interest rates on loans this year too. <laughs> It's difficult to keep good news to yourself, especially when it can transform your life and those close to you. SG Ghana went low on interest rates last year, and this year we are even lower. Yes, Yatisubium. Get the money you need to turn your dreams into a reality. Visit any SG Ghana branch near you and speak to our dedicated staff about the amazing Yatisubium loans today. You can also call 0302 214 314 for more details. <laughs> It's 3 a.m. What's now? Okay, bye. Societe General Ghana. The future is you.
It's a mega sale at Orca this Easter with up to 60% off everything in store. Save big on furniture, home decor, kitchen items, and more. We've got the best quality for the best prices. Who can compare? Locate us at Accra Mall and on Spintex Road this Easter and enjoy up to 60% off at Orca Decor. Bafu Basket. Good morning, good morning. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. You... Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's yes, week. it's been a whole week away. Yeah, a yes, whole week yes. away, yeah. I, uh, I was invited uh, to South Africa. Oh, nice. Yes, yes. And uh, to hear the stories. Mm, about yes, that. you will hear the stories. <laughs> you will hear the stories. Uh, it was a very interesting, interesting okay. trip. Yeah. Um, somebody I know well um, was given an honorary doctorate. Okay. And he's a, a global leader in branding. Oh, nice. You can Google him, actually. His name is Tebe Ikalafeng. Wow. Yes, Tebe, T-H-E-B-E, Ikalafeng. <laughs> yeah, great guy. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Well, while while I away, was away, yes. Free SHS. Indeed, came up for some discussion once again. Empty plates really, really shook us, right? Yeah. But what I found useful was the national dialogue that followed where we settled on the fact that there are indeed problems. Listen. When we went to a Western region for our conference, mm. in the welcome address of our president, just a remark that the free HSS policy needed to be reviewed. It was a big problem. <laughs> and uh, we were summoned. And I, I'm, talk- I'm, I'm being very serious about it. Mm. Just the use of the word review. We cannot continue with this firefight. You cannot run a program for almost eight years and yet be adamant to a call, a clarion call for a review. If indeed headmasters are afraid to speak, what also happens to their own associations like Nagrat, Chas, Nat, and CCT? But I'm saying that there has not been a single instance where any head teacher has been victimized or demoted on account of speaking on free SHS policy. There are periods in other schools where you go to the dining and you have hot water and soup served as lunch. Hot water and soup and soup, which means that come with your gari. The same amount is what is being remitted to schools, even if it comes at all. One CD fifty six pesos. One CD fifty six pesos per, per student per day. day. That is three meals. That is what is being used to prepare three meals for them. Hot so the problem there is there, yes, yeah, hot water and soup, and then you bring your gari, yeah. right? Look, the problems are there. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it's a pity that we had to actually do this to demonstrate beyond a doubt. Now, I mean, now nobody is going to debate it anymore that there are problems. So, so now, thankfully, we can get towards the solutions. Yeah. And if we hadn't forced this, they would have continued to tell us that it's perfect. They would have continued to tell us that it's all fine. And I don't get it. I mean, if there's a problem, there's a problem. Why not fix hey. it? Mm. When somebody has decided this is his legacy <laughs> and it must be perfect, no matter, even if it's not. I mean, wh- what kind of gaslighting is that? Yeah. But anyway, we are beyond that now. We are beyond that. Now we can start looking at the solutions, which is the most important thing. The children, right? Let's, let's solve this problem for them. 70% of the funding for free SHS is going to food mm. well should be going to food right so it's 70 percent of the problem if we're able to solve that then we can start talking about a successful program I agree. but when 70 percent of it is a problem you can't away. yeah anyway so today's show is about that yeah i'm very excited looking forward to it 6 a.m news was brought to us by total energies total we go the extra mile for you and millennium insurance your trustworthy partner Time to set it all off with the Joy Business Report brought to you by Omni Basic Bank at your service. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the Joy Business Report. Coming up, interest rates plummet to 25.99%, the 12th consecutive week this year. As government exceeds T-bills target by 41%, also coming up, Ghana spent $2.4 billion on imports for the first two months of this year. A trade surplus uh, decreases significantly to $392 million. Also, uh, Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana to announce a policy rate today. 
the analyst cautioned the committee to adopt a cautious approach in reducing the policy rate to avert a further weakening of the city. Stay with us for details. My name is Daryl Powell. Also this morning, the National Communications Authority highlights pockets of connectivity challenges despite full restoration of services by mobile network operators. We'll bring you that story later. First, though, interest rates tumbled to 25.99%, the 12th consecutive week this year. This according to Treasury Bill's auction results by the Bank of Ghana. This is in line with most analysts' forecasts. Here's more. Interest rates continue to fall in line with the disinflation process. The 91-day bill fell by 50 basis points to 25.99%. The yield on the 182-day bill also took a nosedive to 28.49% from the previous week's 28.99%. Similarly, the 364-day bill went down by 50 basis points to 29.09%. Meanwhile, the T-bills auction was oversubscribed by 41.15%, to the tune of 4.77 billion cities. The government, however, accepted 4.75 billion cities. The 91-day bill was the most patronized, with about 2.50 billion cities tendered. The uptake was about 2.48 billion. The 182-day bill received bids worth 1.34 billion cities. All were accepted. Ghana spent $2.4 billion on imports for the first two months of this year. This represented a significant increase over the same period last year. Here's George Jaffe with more. In the first two months of 2023, Ghana spent $1.9 billion to finance all its imports, including oil and other items. This represents about $500 million more than what is spent in the first two months of 2024. The Bank of Ghana's data showed that Ghana's import bill just for oil hit $598 million, representing a marginal decline from what we spent in the same period for last year. However, non-oil items shot up significantly to reach $1.8 billion. On the export side, the country earned $2.8 billion ending February 2024. This was the same amount spent in the first two months of 2023. The development might not be good news when it comes to improving our foreign exchange earnings to support the local currency. Meanwhile, another development that should get us worried is that the country's earnings from exports in relation to our imports has decreased significantly in the first two months of this year. The Bank of Ghana puts the trade surplus and in February 2024 at $392 million dollars compared to the more than $800 million in the same period for last year. The development could have some negative impact on our local currency, our reserves, and even inflation going forward. George Raffi with that report. As it announces its policy rate later today, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana has been advised to adopt a cautious approach. This caution, U.S.-based Ghanaian economist Dr. Dennis Nsafwa believes is warranted because inflation remains high and sticky. He tells Joy Business a significant cut of a policy rate could lead to further weakening of the city, which has become uh, recently become more volatile. I understand that a high restrictive policy rate adversely affects households and businesses by increasing borrowing costs. Nonetheless, I employ Ghanaian businesses, especially the AGI, to exhibit more patience with the Bank of Ghana as it navigates through this period of high inflation. If the Bank of Ghana can actually return inflation to its target within the forecast horizon, the short-term pain of high interest rate today will be outweighed by the long-term benefits of price stability, which ultimately includes sustainable lower interest rates. We can now hear next uh, from economist Dr. Patrick Esumi, who says the insignificant impact of the reduction in the policy rate in January on inflation should tell the Monetary Policy Committee to keep the rate unchanged to check inflation. I think uh, as it, the marginal drop shouldn't really affect the, the policy rate because when you when the rate was dropped, was reduced, the current rate of inflation was just about the same as we have now. I, I think that the initial reduction that we saw last the, the, at the last meeting was a little too early. It was a little premature, I think. So I expect that having reduced it and the 
the expected disinflation at the time has not continued. So I believe that the BOG, the MPC, will be a little cautious in uh, bringing further reduction. So I don't expect that they will, they will reduce it at all. All right. Uh, that was economist Dr. Patrick Assuming of the University of Ghana Business School. Well, in a related development, average lending rate narrowed to 32.77% in February 2024 from 33.75% uh, recorded in December 2023. This is equivalent to 2.73% uh, percent per month on loans charged by the banks. Now, according to the January 2024 summary of economic and financial data, the average lending rate stood at 32.94% in January 2024. The decline in lending rate shows that the change in the rate is in line with the disinflation process. Meanwhile, GCB Bank offered the cheapest loans to household consumers. That's according to the latest annualized percentage rates by the Bank of Ghana. It charged a rate of 27.71% to clients from a period of one year and 27.21% for a period of three years. For small and medium enterprises, APSA Bank offered the lowest loans to customers for a period of one and three years. Its, it's interest rate estimated at 17.03%. In other news, the National Communications Authority has indicated that there will still be pockets of connectivity challenges despite the restoration of Internet services. The mobile network operators have announced that Internet services have been fully restored after challenges experienced in the last two weeks. But speaking at the Meet the Press uh, event, the Director General of the Authority, Dr. Joan Noche, said the nature of the rerouting of cables has caused this pro problem. Many of you have complained that uh, if you say everything is up, why do we have this intermittent slowness of services? Well, think about it. If you want to go to London, you can buy buy BA Accra London six hours, but you can also decide to buy to take Africa World to maybe Lagos, and then from there take Kenya Airways to South Africa, take BA again to London. You still get to London, but it will be slow. So that's what is happening because all our cables are down. They are having to leverage on cables that are not currently. So that might explain some latency, but it's not that much. It depends on the time also. During the peak hours, you might see that latency. Dr. Joanne Anoche is Director General of the National Communications Authority. The Registry of Companies has announced that it will, from today, March 25, begin a nationwide assessment exercise to check the state of compliance of businesses in relation to the country's laws. This, according to the Registry of Companies, forms part of its mandate in ensuring that basic business laws are complied with. Here is Registry of Companies, Jemima Wire. One of the core mandates of the Registrar of Companies to go out there to inspect the books of companies. And uh, we are really going out there more really to educate our clients on, on the need for them to comply with provisions of the act. Because many of them are not even aware that they are supposed to keep books for the company. I'm talking of the books or registers on the members of their company or Register of companies, Shimaima Awari. Uh, let's turn to the stock market. The share price of MTN Ghana is expected to increase due to increased demand. Here's Grace Munayan of Data Bank Research on how your investments will fare this week. Last week's trading concluded with five price movers of three Guinness and two laggards. New Gold, MTN Ghana, and GCB Bank closed as the advances, while Cow Bank and Farm Milk both declined. Accordingly, the Ghana Stock Exchange Composite Index climbed 5.42% weekly to a year-to-date gain of 13.02%, while the Data Bank Stock Index gained 3.88% weekly to a year-to-date gain of 10.47%. Weekly turnover totaled 36.7 million Ghana cities from the exchange of about 6.8 million shares across 22 counties. New gold dominated market activity, accounting for 71% of the overall turnover. This week, we took the share price of MTN Ghana to advance due to increased demand for their shares. For Joy Business Reports, Grace Munanyun of Data Bank Research. Uh, more market updates for you at the currency market this morning. The dollar going for uh, 13 cities, 48 pesos. That's on the retail market. The pound, 16 cities, 88 pesos. The euro going for 14 cities, 48 pesos. On the commodity market, could oil increase marginally to open trading at $85 a barrel? Gold went up by $5 to sell at $2,170 an ounce. Cocoa opened trading at $8,939 a ton after going up by almost $400. And before we go, the Bank of Ghana is urging banks to embrace sustainable banking practices by incorporating environmental, social, 
and governance ESG factors in the operations. According to Second Deputy Governor Elsa Dwawaji, banks should be able to reduce their carbon footprint, demonstrating commitment to environmental responsibility. She spoke at the EcoBank Sustainability Week celebration in Accra. Our concept of sustainable banking is for banks to be able to recognize the risks that are posed to their bottom line and their balance sheet and their long-term sustainability and resilience um, from environmental risks, from social risks, and from governance risks. Uh, banks are supposed to reduce their own carbon footprint um, in their day-to-day -day operations. El Siadoraji, the second deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana. And in the Joy Business Report, more news on our website, myjoyonline.com forward slash business. My name is Daryl Crow. Thanks for listening. What, what, what the heck was Aaron doing there? <laughs> Sign hey. language. I don't know who even sent it. <laughs> anyway, I have it on, uh, I have it on video. We can send it to his um, mental health team. Oh, my God. <laughs> for assessment. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, maybe maybe they'll say he's all right. Mm. Maybe that's that's what he's looking to do in, in, in the in, future. In the future. Oh, yeah. We must all diversify. Diversification. <laughs> Speaking of which, I mean today today's show. I, I've got to tell you, I'm very satisfied that mm -hmm. we finally got to this we point. We're making progress. Yes, yes. We were, we we spent too long debating the obvious. So now we can actually start solving the problems. So, well, thank goodness for that. These kids are going to get some relief, hopefully. Hopefully. Yes, as long as hopefully, hopefully those who must long, listen, so. listen. As long as those who must listen, listen. Right? I hope they, you know, they know that this is the only way to save face now. Mm. By solving the problems. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what we're about. Mm. Shall I? Shall I let you go? <laughs> mm. I guess you have to. Um, mm. It's a holy week, so how are we starting the holy week? Well, Koda. Koda, nice. Yes. Nice okay. So this one apparently is called Yapai. Hey. Uh, I don't know if I've heard that before. I don't know about it, but it's uh, s it's something from his live concert, the Oxygen Live concert. Okay. Yes, Yapai. Enjoy. <laughs>
Yeah, on a Monday morning. Hello, Ray. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, how are you? Know? I, I like his song about the uh, Nyamesum. I was in some mm. church. They were playing as well. People did not like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it was a I mean, we're reflecting on that. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes you have to uh, tell the truth. Because, you see, the changes in the dancing. Mm -hmm. At first, they were all, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. jumping around. Then, suddenly, yeah, when he moved to that song, it looks uh, like that. People now became a bit more reflective. Yes. It's mm -hmm. like when the president is in the room and you start talking about reviewing free shs <laughs> oh, that's what he said mm. in that sound I in no 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 if you raise it no you can't make that point anyway anyway yeah. shall we get on with it yeah. yes uh, and let's bring you our drive safe campaign which is brought to us by john news and multimedia group is supported by toyota superior quality and imperial general assurance solid protection all right, so today I want to talk about the three types of drivers. Those who have their own crashes, those who get involved in other people's crashes, and people who simply don't have them. Good drivers can still crash. It's more important to be safe. That's your drive safe tip this morning. Please be safe wherever you're going. Mm -hmm. mm, we can now learn how to say it right as it's brought to you by Kingdom Books, a kingdom quality and affordability are their hallmarks. And Society General Bangana. The future is you. Something must be done. You say either. I say I I must confess I haven't slept a wink. I think there is a bird trapped in my ceiling. The noise was so annoying, in fact, infuriating. And at first I couldn't figure out where the chirping was coming from. It took me three whole hours to home in on the source of the sound. Now I hope you noticed I said home in H O M E home and not hone. H for hotel, O for Oscar, M for Mike, E for Echo. Home. Now, the expression home in means to find and move directly towards something, as in homing pigeons or homing missiles. Hone, on the other hand, H for hotel, O for Oscar, N for November, E for echo, means to sharpen or refine over a period of time, as in she spent the holidays honing her skills as a masseuse. Sounds like a woman worth knowing. Trust me. To home in on that. Huh? <laughs> anyway, that's how to say it right. All right, well, let's get on with it. Uh, news review now brought to you by Syntex Tanker, you're stronger, you're tough. And Enterprise Insurance at 100, Yafini Promotion, celebrating our legacy, securing your future. Mm, I'm sure you heard about the debt figures, right? One of the biggest stories on the front page of the Economy Times is that Ghana's economy valued at 841.63 billion cities. And, uh, of course, uh, the debt figure is making people go mad in the Republic, mm. uh, especially when they do the distribution. Of course, uh, as George Raffi pointed out, we are not going to be paying all the 610 billion at a go. Mm. But uh, if you say, it only shows you that we have accumulated debt at a rate that's a bit problematic, mm. which we admonish. That's why we're through the domestic debt exchange progress and uh it deferred some debt to be paid in the future and also got ourselves into a bit of a leeway to you know uh, try and settle things hopefully we're able to be responsible going forward yeah. that's the key word this is one of the things i miss about yeah. the late john kuma yeah he's perhaps still to my mind anyway unless the, the, there are other you know examples on record he was to my mind to my knowledge the only government official who admitted yeah that they had borrowed too much that's true you if know. i i think i mean Kwe Kwata has also been at the ministry so he mm. recently also said a similar thing yes. about we never get into this point again which is Although the at the time call. he said it, he wasn't in yeah he wasn't yeah. yes of course yeah, uh, yeah. no but it's something that we should drum home and i'm not hearing enough of that all that i'm hearing is that oh we are not raising enough taxes it's almost as if our borrowing was okay mm. but it's not enough money that we had in Akiti. that's why we're in the corner mm -hmm. We should come to the point that we realize cutting down on expenditure. Even even See? even the group even the group called IMF that previously was doing the diplomatic talk about oh yeah Ghana had extension extension recently, you saw the interview where the woman admitted 
that yes, in that year of 2020, we spent way beyond our means and had massive difficulties arising out of that. Why we cannot admit that as people is even shocking in the first place? So if you don't admit it, <laughs> you will not put in place proper steps because politicians are going to promise this year again to do more beyond the means. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you know that next year you're paying a lot of debt, next year you'll be struggling to go through all the things you have deferred and the other uh, maturities will be coming on board and you have to manage all of this in a reasonable way. The expectation that people have is realistic talk of how we are all going to be reasonably mm -hmm. going through these processes without further burdening the people with mm -hmm. more debt, more taxes, more difficulties. Yeah. But we appear to be scattered around yeah. it. I mean, I think, the I think by the voter, grace of God is how we are living. I think the Ghanaian voter needs to take the responsibility of bringing discipline to this campaign. Yeah. You know, we need to take that responsibility upon ourselves. Nobody else will do it for us. We need to hold these people's feet to the fire. Anybody who comes in front of us to tell us any manner of sweet story, we need to remind them of where we are today mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and tell them that what you're saying can never happen. Yeah. I'm sorry. doesn't matter how badly I want to hear that you are going to construct all kinds of roads and schools and churches. The truth is, where we are, you can't do it. Yeah. So tell me a better story. That's true. We need to start bringing that discipline to this campaign. Mm. And again, if they tell you sweet story, you know that they are just, uh, I mean, clearly, tell ah. you, they, are, they don't respect you well enough exactly. to tell I mean, you the they, truth they, anyway. They are telling but you fairy tales. Another terrible story that we've had, FDI declines by 139.4% at the end of 2023. I mean, so... Hmm. 663.18 million uh, was the total received that's the foreign direct investment hmm. uh, in the year 2022 rather uh, no 2023 compared to 1.5 billion so we got 663 million us dollars mm -hmm. in 2023 compared to 1.5 billion in the year 2022 this that is, is shocking. This is we thinking that 2022 was a terrible year. But, I mean, in terms of foreign direct investment, the decline has been over 130%. That's what the Economy Times is reporting. What uh, is this an indication of? I mean, does this just mean that all economies are suffering? And so, you know, even those who we were relying on to send money in from elsewhere because they were doing better are not. Yes, it... it, it Yes, one part of that. Mm. Sometimes, generally, investors look at your economy, they watch it over a period of time and start making decisions of withdrawing how much they can invest over a period. That's another because, thing. Because, yes, yeah, yeah, because they are smart, they know, yes. pro they have projectors. They look at the same figures that mm -hmm. government may have or any other person would have mm -hmm. and make projections for their future. And they employ very sensible people to do the projections yeah. for them too. So, so perhaps a fairer assessment would yeah. be that our policies are repelling investment. Yes, economic conditions may mm. also participate heavily in that. Mm. Now, from January to December, uh, the, the also the total number of projects recorded at the end of the 2023 dropped significantly to 122 compared to 211 projects recorded at the end of 2022. These actual projects. Mm. I mean, so it's not a very bad, it's not a very terrible situation. And I, did, did I say it's a terrible situation when it comes <laughs> to jobs. 12,000 jobs representing 89% are EMR for Ghanaians. That's the out of the projects that we got, uh, representing some 10% uh, for non Ghanaians anyway. Erratic electricity supply, PURC demands low shedding timetable. So the electricity company has been ordered to publish a low shedding timetable, latest by March 27, 2024. Today's the order 24? is given by, yes, uh, yes, so two days from now. They should be publishing a low shedding timetable. This is according to the Public Utilities and Regulatory Commission. They've been in a bit of a tussle with the ECG over this and other matters, in, in, including what's happening with the uh, uh, cash waterfall mechanism, yeah. anyway. Yes. So uh, I'm not sure. But, but you think that they will wait for the PRC to uh, order them to issue a management timetable? I was that beats my mind. I was expecting this earlier because there are two essential regulators in the energy sector for financial regulation PRLC. The other regulator is the Energy Commission. They regulate the technical aspects of the work of the ECG and the other people in the energy sector. To the extent that we have not heard enough from these two institutions, of course, PRLC is speaking on directing now, 
it was a bit problematic to ask me. for energy commission yeah i'm not sure i've, I've read any, yeah, anything from yeah be sitting back and drinking tea at a time that everybody is having maybe perhaps they, they maybe could say that they are doing are it on the low anyway maybe their lights are on okay but you know what again something is happening that mm -hmm. i remember i had to draw attention to when it started with the finance ministry when all the you know individual institutions under the finance ministry started messing up and misbehaving when money started doing the wrong thing mm -hmm. and we were always looking to blame others when the finance ministry was just sitting there yeah. and the finance minister was getting away with you know nobody actually putting the blame at his doorstep until much later when the mps and all of those people you know had had enough of him this is happening with the uh, uh, energy ministry as well yeah while all of this is happening we have an energy minister yeah who super who, who super uh what's the word superintends yeah. over all of this and all that he has said is sit at some conference and say they are doing CSC. CSC. <laughs> honestly when you wake up in the morning he's the person he's the person we should be asking questions of yeah he's the one we should be asking how are you letting the institutions under you you know, take so much flack what are you doing Perhaps his quest to become running mate is a bit of more important. <laughs> he should abandon that yeah. quest because the, the 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 job to be energy minister, cry you can't do it. You want to be who's running mate? Go home and let's let's go through the Daily Guide newspaper. Uh, so we got more medals uh, in this African Games uh, than we are actually part of the first ten. We are number six on the table. We got fifty medals in all, eleven gold. 23 silver but egypt's uh tops it all with 175 they got 94 gold nigeria following closely uh south africa well not so closely south africa algeria tunisia and then ghana uh but the main uh story on the front page of the daily guide christia hoist packs outrage in ndc and i'll tell you what he said that's getting people to criticize him. Or we'll turn tour into profitable enterprise. New board of directors making this promise. They say if they are allowed to be focused, then they can turn tour around. Stop uh, misleading public. Mabi, before you move on, I yes, mean, you, I know you will say that this is water under the bridge, but you saw that story about Malaysia declining to host the 2026 oh, the Commonwealth. Commonwealth. Yes. yes. Citing yes. bread and butter issues yes. to think about first. Yes. Uh, yes. And, uh. and, I've, and I've been trying to remind people that good governance and proper management of systems yield results because if you were to be Malaysia or lived in Malaysia, would have been living 6.8 years longer. You would have been making five times more than m money in Malaysia. And again, you are 72% less likely to be unemployed. So the people who were out there say that, hey, 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 you go and jump around and still go to a, a, an empty pocket and a, what they call it, uh, to no job. And 55% more likely to have internet anyway. They're yeah, actually better off than us, Yes, right? and yet We're they talking have about bread and butter issues. Borrowing more. Yes. We spent 200 million, right? Yeah, yeah, On yeah, this, yeah. and we will be talking about how we spent it. Yeah, well, anyway. All right, so listen, this is what uh, a senior member of the NDC, Chrissy Hoy, has said, and I'm quoting, uh, and because the quotes is in the paper, he, he said, and I quote, John Mahama was not prepared to be president at the time, but nature schemed things in such a way that President Mills had to give way to John Mahama. Anything can happen. So, Nana, be ever prepared, like your motto says, be ready. Anything can happen, and you can become the president of the Republic of Ghana on coat. And this is what has gone viral. And I saw a statement of him coming yes. out to apologize. Uh, uh, and, and uh, well, you know, the criticism continues. Okay, what, what's the criticism, if I may ask? What, what is it that they, they are unhappy about? So, some construed it. And if you see the likes of Koko Anido and Co, mm -hmm. and even oh, opponents of the, uh, Mr. Hoy's party, mm -hmm. and you know their hoys have been seen to have a very special role in the NDC, mm -hmm. that, well, are you planning another control of the party through another means? What are you really suggesting? Why do you say things that people say in their, what they call a bedroom, openly like this? And he is claiming that, well, he did not mean any harm. It mm -hmm. must have been Mr. Osku, 100%. He was just proposing a toast to the woman uh, at a gathering that he felt. He says, light-hearted moment. Exactly. Yes. And, of course, after the interpretations, so people are, in fact, people have been saying that that means that something really happened in the male's uh, period that ought to be properly interrogated. This is why I asked <laughs> what was upsetting yeah, yeah. people. Yeah, because, because that's I had a sneaky feeling that it wasn't going to be the obvious. Yeah. That maybe, oh, why are you wishing President Mahama uh, 
ill. Mm -hmm. No. It is the opportunity to go back. Yes. And talk <laughs> about the Atamil situation. <laughs> yes. That so, is what so is it's not even generated. real offense. Yeah. It's just a political opportunity. That's true. Yeah, this Listen, but, but we, 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 are, we are in the year 2024. <laughs> yeah. The expectation expects, is that, yeah, yeah. the uh, twists and turns I mean, will happen within our so I wonder you how speak, voters feel. I wonder how voters feel. You must also think about how people are likely to interpret what you're going to say, <sighs> I guess. Well, one story uh, on pay, in the center spread of the paper that actually upsets me a bit is the fact that a doctor, Dr. Amina Haroon, who is a medical practitioner, uh, disclosed the health status of Kwame Eugene when he was sent to the hospital. Uh, and now she's actually been suspended for that act. I mean, oh, wow. that's highly unethical. Ah. How do you go on social media to go and disclose uh, that the patient has come to your hospital and this and this and this and this? You don't do that. What kind of doctors, doctors don't, don't do that? Is that? I, I support doctors 100 don't do I that. think that we have reached Bloggers the point where do that. Yes. Not professional doctors. We have reached the point where we should check the young people of this country and how. I think, Kojo, they <laughs> met a certain social media movement in their lives. That is the willingness to put out everything they see and hear. So it it's makes them forget their own training. Yes. Highly unprofessional. This how do I trust? Auto, auto, unbelievable. Auto. <laughs> Ethics of a profession. How do I trust that how if I go from to UG today... And this is a doctor who... Yes. This is a doctor who will be allowed to look after other patients. That's true. So we, if I'm walking into your uh, consulting room right now and I hear your name, Amina Haroon, how comfortable Charlie, should I Charlie, be? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Yeah, okay, but she's been suspended. Uh, license oh, suspended. For Charlie, three Charlie, 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 yes, yes, yes. No, yes. But, but the damage is done. Hopefully, she learns the lesson. The damage is done. And others too will learn from that. You know, what I, I don't get is the fact that, like a doctor, a patient comes to your facility and the first thing you think about is I'm going jump to, on I'm social going to media and, and talk this. about what is, hey, what is wrong with it. I mean, you don't do that. It's highly unethical. How did we you get don't here? Do that. You know, these young There's people have this patients, attitude of doctor privacy and all that. Anyway, we'll okay. Uh, yeah, the, the way we'll, Sam is saying, we'll, we should come we, back we to this to in move. the future. So the online review, yeah, yes. we'll have to. Yes. The online <laughs> review is brought to you by Zenith Bank in your best interest, Goyle Good Energy, and G&J &G Technical Services, celebrating 30 years of providing backup power in Ghana. And you know, Goyle PLC, your CIMG Hall of Fame, and 2022 Petroleum Company of the Year has taken the lead again. Goyle has opened an ultra-modern liquefied petroleum auto gas service station. So look out for these stations at Bemakam Goyle Station in a crack peshi goil station also in a crack pedu junction goil station is in cape coast and pinson goil station is in takradi and kenton chrono goil station in kumasi goil delivering the safest and affordable gas at your convenience goil good energy yen ara yedia no let's get it clear in the interest of openings right uh -huh. zanip bank has opened its latest branch in tetiman uh, yes, and this is at uh, the uh, Techiman branch opposite or adjacent Adum Baptist Church on the Kumasi Techiman Road. So, whether you're an SME or corporate institution, that's where you should be going for service. Techiman, opposite or adjacent Adum Baptist Church on the Kumasi Techiman Road. Exceptional service awaits you. Zenin Bank in your best interest. All right. Now, listen, um, Funny Face involved in a gory car accident is uh, on MyJoinLine.com. Go read more details. Right now, though, it's time for us to go for the BBC News brought to us by Fidelity Bank, believe with us, and Old Mutual, 10 years of greatness in Ghana, here for a lifetime. For decades, we have helped businesses connect with their trade partners all over the globe. From Ghana to Burkina Faso, Côte d'Ivoire, Benin, Togo, Senegal, China, Morocco, France, Netherlands, and many other countries. We have made it possible to bring Ghana to the world. We have brought small and medium businesses closer to their customers across the regions in Ghana with our SME support facilities. We have brought relief and smiles to the faces of families with our employee personal loans. With our cutting-edge technology and digital support, we take the burden of complex thinking off you, making life simple. That is who we are, as close as a partner. Bank of Africa, we are indeed the African bank with the global reach. that people do to empower themselves. It fuels families, communities, businesses.
Good energy fuels nations. It gets things going and keeps them moving. Good energy isn't just what we do, it's who we are. Goyal, good energy. And that's why I choose Goyal. I'm a Zuma Nelson, three times world boxing champion and a patriot. What name brightens the streets, homes, and businesses of Ghana? What company has been providing world-class backup power to Ghanaians for 30 years? G&J Technical Services. Final answer? Yes, G&J. Final answer. Hmm. Correct. G&J is celebrating 30 years of providing backup power in Ghana. As the largest supplier of world-class generators in the country, we have been the backbone of Ghana's alternative power industry by delivering the best sales, maintenance and after-sales solutions that nation has ever seen. We've done it for 30 years and we promise that the future will be even brighter. Reach us in Accra on 030-268-9178 or 9179 and 020-222-2204 all the way to 2220 and in Kumasi on 020-222-236 or 020-222-2220. The ECOWAS Investment Forum EIF is a flagship event that aims to showcase West Africa's investment potential and present a pipeline of private and public sector development projects. Organized by the ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development, EBID, in partnership with the Government of the Republic of Togo and the Government of India through Exim Bank India. EIF 2024 will take place on April 4th and 5th, 2024 at De Février Hotel in Lomé, Togo. This maiden edition will focus on the economic recovery of ECOWAS member states under the theme Transforming ECOWAS Communities in a Challenging Environment. For two days, development partners and stakeholders operating in the West African sub-region will engage in discussions relating to agriculture and food security infrastructure deficit, youth unemployment, energy and climate change, and support to SMEs and SMIs. Join us on April 4th and 5th, 2024 in Lome, Togo for the ECOWAS Investment Forum 2024. ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development. EBID. Transforming ECOWAS Communities. Dear business owner, congrats on not giving up on your business. You deserve a medal and your business deserves to be taken to the next level. In fact, it's about time you run a Zenith Bank SME account so you and your business can enjoy the perks of the Zenith SME Business Card. Oga and Oga Madam status. <laughs> the Zenith SME Business Card is a Visa debit card for making secure payments for goods and services. Enjoy great benefits such as free customized digital SME training, free marketing two kids, access to visa practical skills training, and more. Unlock the potential of your business today. Visit any Zenith Bank branch nationwide and sign up for the Zenith SME Business Card, the ultimate payment solution for SMEs. For more information, visit www.zenithbank.com.gh or call 0302-680-884 or 0307-086-370. Zenith Bank, in your best interests. The world's radio station. Hello and welcome to Newsday on the BBC World Service. I'm Victoria Wonghunda here in our London studio. And I'm James Cottnell in Dakar, Senegal, where the first results are already coming through after Sunday's presidential election. We'll take you through a voting day that went some way to restoring Senegal's democratic reputation, speaking to voters and election observers. And with our live guests, we'll examine how soon we're likely to know who the country's next president will be and what the region and the world should take from the poll. And as Russia mourns its dead, four suspects have been charged for the attack on a concert hall on Friday in which 137 people were killed. Also, what does the new tough security law passed in Hong Kong mean for the island as a global financial hub? All that and more, but first, the latest world news. Hello, I'm Neil Nunes with the BBC News. 
Supporters of the main opposition candidate in Senegal's presidential election have been celebrating after provisional results suggested he's in the lead. Basiru Jamai Fai appears to be ahead of the former Prime Minister Amadou Ba. Mr. Fai was only recently freed from jail after the incumbent President Macky Sall was forced to rescind his attempt to delay the poll. ECOWAS, the community of West African states, has an observer mission led by the former Nigerian Foreign Minister Ibrahim Gambari. So far the process is smooth, the security is good, but this is the beginning. So we we'll continue to observe and the conclusion is that the opening started on, on time and is smooth, security is there and the process is uh, really quite quick. The acceptance of the result will be important and the recognition that election is important but uh, it's not an end by itself. Four men suspected of perpetrating Friday's devastating attack on a court concert hall near the Russian capital have been brought to a late-night court in Moscow and charged with terrorism. All four reportedly Tajikistan nationals appear to have been beaten during interrogation. One was barely conscious and another has reportedly had his air cut off. The powerful sister of North Korea's leader, says the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, has requested a summit with Kim Jong-un. The Japanese leader said he has always called for talks to resolve tensions. More from Sharma Khalil. Kim Yoo Jong, the influential sister of North Korea's leader, said that improving bilateral relations between North Korea and Japan will depend on whether Tokyo can make practical political decisions, adding that the mere decision to engage in talks with Pyongyang wasn't enough to restore ties. She also said the issue of the abduction of Japanese citizens had been settled. Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has often promised to work for the full return of Japanese nationals, kidnapped from coastal areas by North Korean agents in the 1970s and 80s. Prosecutors in Singapore have brought more charges against the former transport minister S. Iswaran, who has been accused of corruption. Mr. Iswaran has denied all the accusations. More details now from Suranjana Tiwari. The new charges against S. Iswaran relate to gifts he allegedly received while he was a public servant, including bottles of whiskey, golf clubs and a Brompton bike worth almost $8,000. Mr. Iswaran was arrested in July of last year and accused of taking kickbacks worth more than $280,000 from one of Singapore's wealthiest property tycoons, Ong Beng Seng, partly to advance Mr. Ong's business interests. If convicted, he could be fined up to $100,000 or face seven years in prison. World News from the BBC. A deadline for Donald Trump to pay the huge fine imposed on him by a judge who had found he had overstated the value of his assets is due to expire on Monday. If the former U.S. president fails to pay, the authorities in New York can freeze his bank accounts and begin seizing his properties. Last week, his lawyers said he had been unable to cover the $450 million penalty. The Palestinian Red Crescent says Israeli troops have been firing smoke bombs around a hospital in Khan Yunis in Gaza to try to force staff, patients and displaced people to leave. Further north, medics in Gaza City say 10 people have been killed at Al-Shifa Hospital and dozens of doctors and patients have been detained. Yolant Nell reports from Jerusalem. In recent days, Israeli forces have returned to areas around three hospitals. Israel says hospitals are being used by Hamas as bases and has released some videos and pictures to support its claim. Hamas and medics deny the accusations. As talks continue in Qatar on a possible new Gaza truce, there are reports that Israel has increased the number of Palestinian prisoners it's ready to release in exchange for Israeli hostages. Ukrainian officials say parts of the coastal city of Odessa are without power after the latest Russian drone strikes. They said 11 people had been injured in the in another attack near Mykolaiv. The Russian authorities say a fire broke out at a major Russian power plant after the Ukrainian drones assaulted the area. A provincial governor in Papua New Guinea says a powerful earthquake that struck the area on Sunday morning has resulted in a thousand houses being destroyed. The quake, measuring 6.9, hit East Sapik province, shaking villages and sending buildings tumbling into the water. That's the latest BBC World News.
Imagine this. Your employees spend one third of their lives at work. That's 13,000 days or 110,000 hours dedicated to their jobs. At Old Mutual, we don't just see the numbers. We see the faces and the dreams behind them. With our tailored group life insurance and pension plans, you can provide your employees with employee benefit schemes that gives them peace of mind for their futures and for their families. Make the choice that shows your commitment to your employees today. Call 0509-551-609 or email corporate services at oldmutual.com.gh. Old Mutual, do great things every day. There are some classy celebrations that call for whipping out your favorite China sets. Same goes for your luxury vehicle. Just any engine oil won't do. Premium understands premium best. The new Shell Helix Ultra 0W20SP with carbon neutral properties is the one for your premium car. It's a fully synthetic motor oil designed using the Shell Pure Plus technology. Prevents dirt buildup with exceptional cleaning power, leaving your pistons cleaner than a whistle up to 50% more than the industry standard and gives you stronger, long lasting engine performance. So, if you want your classic car to run smoothly like a Ferrari for years to come, use the Shell Helix Ultra 0W20 SP with carbon neutral property. Shell Helix Ultra 0W20 SP, designed for ultimate engine performance.
pepper as supper continuously, you know, for about because that was what was available at that time. When we went to uh, Western Region for our conference, mm. in the welcome address of our president, just a remark that the free HSS policy needed to be reviewed. It was a big problem. <laughs> and uh, we were summoned. And I, I'm, talk, I'm, I'm being very serious about it. Mm. Just the use of the word review. We cannot continue with this firefight. You cannot run a program for almost eight years and yet be adamant to a call, a clarion call for a review. If indeed headmasters are afraid to speak, what also happens to their own associations like Nagrat, Chas, Nat, and CCT? But I'm saying that there has not been a single instance where any head teacher has been victimized or demoted on account of speaking on free SHS policy. There are periods in other schools where you go to the dining and you have hot water and soup served as lunch. Hot water and soup and soup, which means that come with your gari. The same amount is what is being remitted to schools, even if it comes at all. One CD fifty six pesos. One CD fifty six pesos per, per, per student. Uh, day. Day. That is three meals. That is what is being used to prepare three meals for them. Why, why did we decide to do this to ourselves? I mean, was it by force? Yeah, make, make, make education free. That's legacy enough. I mean, see, oh, what, what? Hmm. nobody in this republic expected that they would run a program or a policy of state of this gangantuan nature without difficulties. That is why for a very long time, we all are participatory uh, partners in this democratic experiment. What we do is that when there's a program, we advise government. We all say, no, no, this one's not going on well. Or you could do this. Even if you were adamant from the beginning and said, well, I did not need help in doing this. I'll spend the amount of money is required. And yet you have difficulties. Sit with the people. Let's understand that. Could you today... They, they now say we should not add teachers to it. So it's parent associations across the country mm -hmm. are contributing meaningfully, directly, indirectly, to the upkeep of their kids. Some have even taken the destiny of their kids out of the hands of the school. So what they do is that you contract a teacher in the school, you give the teacher some amount of money with the hope that they can take care of your child. That's what they are doing. It is preposterous for anybody to think that there can never be problems with this program. And at a time that you claim to be today, it's 25th, right? Today, they'll go and launch, uh, how do you call it, smart smart school by giving 500 or so tablets to some 500 students across the country. With the hope that to give them the tablets, they are supposed to fix the problem. But everybody knows that. And last year, when the social policy, no, no, it's, it's social outlook report from ASA came out, the difficulties with the senior high school structure was actually put out there. This is no rocket science. This one, you don't need to study uh, a lot more uh, what they call aeronautics to be able to get to the bottom of this. You pay for what you can. What you cannot, we manage how we're supposed to deal with it. Remember, Professor Pokwa Mankwa said to me that, oh, we are now looking at how much it actually costs to provide a child a comprehensive education with all the elements so that we know the cost structures that will go to a single child so that we know if there is a need for anybody to contribute at all we're doing that conversation what happened it didn't take long the man was removed from office In yeah, yeah but that was that was to what admit to, that you are not, trying to make the thing better even the executive suicide. president yeah. even the executive president what he said at the state of the nation's address how different was it from what this man said so i'm not shocked that headmaster says when you go and mention it even at your forum that you the representative are supposed to say you will be victimized mm. but when did you get to this point that people who are merely acting on our behalf feel they have so much power they can they restrain their people from participating in the policies that they are putting together. Yeah. Why, why did you get I, that? Is it a private business? I, I think we've gotten to the point where all must agree that people can bring suggestions on board. It is a fact that there are some people who cannot afford to pay fees or to pay any of these these things because people, some people come from very poor homes and they cannot afford at all. But there are people who can. And so I, I, I think, you know, what I pick from our, our dialogue was a consensus that, listen, government will have to be open to suggestions from stakeholders because it's not government alone. Oh. I mean, these are people's children, right? But these are teachers who teach them. Why did we even have to do a dialogue to tell you this basic thing? 
it's a it's an amusing paradox you know yeah. that uh, the political party whose ideology the core of their belief is capitalism and property ownership and all of that, and competition that would be the one that would become completely deaf and blind and dumb to the idea that some people can actually pay for their children to go to school it, it is a shock that it would be that party which would come up with with this uh, inability to understand the differences in the ability of parents to afford education and and therefore there is no need for the state to put all of their money into make providing for something that others can provide for themselves hey and the children are the ones suffering in the middle of all this anyway we'll talk more about it later on the show also uh, this uh, doctor who is supposed to have put out information private information about uh, you know a celebrity who uh, was brought to um, you know ment- me- medical uh, health care facility is also coming up for some discussion later on the show. Stay tuned for that. But listen, uh, this is the Super Morning Show on Joy, the award-winning Super Morning Show on Joy. Stay tuned for all the good stuff. It's designed with you in mind. My name is Kojay Yangsen. I'm the Morning Man. Well, you know, when you eat food and sugars get trapped in your teeth, uh, which can lead to tooth decay, gum disease, and foul breath. Well, brushing your teeth every morning and night with Pepsodent Cavity Fighter will give your teeth the protection they need and make them 10 times stronger. Uh, but now, it's fortified with profluoride, microcalcium ingredients, sealing tiny and invisible holes in your teeth. This prevents cavities, keeps your teeth strong, and your mouth healthy. Pepsodent Cavity comes in 175 gram big family pack, 120. 20 gram a jaqua pack, 65 gram and 12 gram sachets, so you can always get what you can afford at any time. Don't just use toothpaste that brushes your teeth. Use Pepsodent that perfects your teeth. Always remember to brush twice, okay? In the morning and before you sleep. Pepsodent has been educating Ghanaians on this for 25 years. Pepsodent is recommended by the Ghana Dental Association, and you have a chance to talk to a dentist for free when you call 0800 161 triple zero you can get pepsodent at any shop near you call the customer care center on 0800 2030 pepsodent every smile matters and it's difficult to keep good news to yourself especially when it can transform your life and those close to you listen sg ghana went low on interest rate last year and this year they are even lower yes SG say Yatsisubium. Are you an SG Ghana customer or on the control and accountant general's payroll that get the money you need to turn your dreams into a reality? Visit any SG Ghana branch near you. So for you, Raymond, is the Kokumlimle branch. And speak <coughs> to your dedicated staff about the amazing Yatsisubium loans Blanche. available today. You can also call 0302 214 314 for more details. Offer runs till the 7th of June 2024. Terms and conditions apply. SG Ghana, the future. Raymond, is Good you? morning to everybody at the Kokumlemle. Mamavi, 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 Mamavi. Kokumlemle. Say the other one. Say the other one. Next door. You said Blanche, Blanche. No. Stop <laughs> saying that. Pretend why, that you're why, not. Why, you said Kokumlemle, Blanche. Blanche. We both should have respect yeah. for Amachi Didi. <laughs> yeah. All right, move on. Move on. Move anyway, on. if you have ever tried to push a pull door, <laughs> you know it doesn't work, right? So <laughs> the same thing goes for when you put the wrong engine oil in your luxury vehicle, Mamavi. Introducing Shell Helix Ultra OW20 SP. Specially from later with a unique Shell Pure Plus technology that actively... Uh, helps uh, lubricate and clean your engine, uh, so I should be sure. Yeah, Give now me your Kazan air. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Masa, can I send me a food? Yeah, yeah, man. They thought I would also fall <laughs> straight out of the gate. No, he started laughing at somebody's daughter. Continue. Now, we are this one gives you premium. 
Some car performance. Yo. Cell Helix Ultra OW20 SP provides unsurpassed wear and sludge protection and uh, leaving your pistons cleaner than a whistle or uh, up to 50% more than the instrument. Uh, Mm. Industry standard Yo. and enhanced fuel economy. <laughs> Mama V has done it to me. Yeah. Shell Helix Ultra OW20 SP is designed to be safe for the environment with a significant reduction in carbon emissions. I could go on and on, but the only way to prove the value of Shell Helix is Kojo. You have to try it for yourself. Premium rose best with premium. Get Shell Helix Ultra OW20 SP. Made for premium today. People need to use Pepsodent. Yes! <laughs> Alright, now listen. Flying with little ones in tow? Well, this year, why don't you fly better? There's so much more to think about when you're traveling with kids. Like remembering where to put their goggles and packing your snacks, uh, you know, just to make it to the airport. Hmm. Thankfully, when it comes to your flight, Emirates has everything taken care of fussy eater no problem they can tuck into tasty meals that are perfect for their tiny taste buds you won't hear a peep of i'm bored with over 250 dedicated kids channels from cbb's to nickelodeon to disney classics it's non-stop fun all the way with free toys like new cuddly friends or cool activity packs so when whenever you're flying with dubai uh, whenever you're flying with emirates to dubai london istanbul or beyond fly better on Emirates. Find out more at emirates.com. And press one to section 35 of the Companies Act 2019. The Office of the Registrar of Companies, OROC, is undertaking a nationwide inspection of companies and businesses. Company inspectors with the identification tags will visit business premises to inspect certificate of registered companies and businesses. Also combined register with information on directors and members. They will be looking out for compliance status. That's filing of annual returns and amendments and updates of company and business records with current information please be informed that failure to comply with provisions of the company's act will incur fine of not less than 150 penalty units or not more than 250 penalty units or to a term of imprisonment of not less than one year or not more than two years or both we urge all company officials and business owners to collaborate with our company inspectors in this exercise. For inquiries, please call the ORC on 0302-666-081 or 020-883-5959. Kindly send email to info at orc.gov.gh. ORC, your trusted partner for business. Now, Toyota users, get closer to your set. I have very wonderful news for you. You need to get ready for a revolution. If you want your Toyota engine to function optimally, then there's only one choice, the Toyota Genuine Motor Oil. The Toyota Genuine Motor Oil has been rigorously tested and proven to be the best oil for your Toyota engine. Specially crafted to keep your Toyota engine running smoothly and efficiently, the Toyota Genuine Motor Oil is available at all Toyota Ghana branches across the country. Nothing makes your engine happier than Toyota Genuine Motor Oil. For bulk purchases or distribution, contact Toyota Ghana on 0302-429801. Toyota Ghana Company Limited is proud to be associated with the Joy FM Joy News Drive Safety safety tips on the super morning show toyota superior quality all right now gnj your reliable alternative backup power solution provider is 30 years old yeah that's amazing now they would like to thank all of you their cherished partners and customers for being part of this journey now as we embrace the future with brighter hopes gnj technology technical services sorry looks forward to providing you with the best backup power services to your homes offices churches and more now they're still the largest backup power supplier in the country and with their 24-hour service delivery they are poor to give you the best brands in backup power and after sales service. You can find GNJ in Accra of the Mortuary Road uh, to Kolibu, or you can call GNJ on 0302 689 178. You can also try 0302 689 179 or 020 222 204. In Kumasi, you can call GNJ on 020 36. That doesn't seem long enough. Or 020 222220. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's those are the numbers provided. Good All luck. All right.
Mm-hmm. It's the Imperial Insure and Win promotion reloaded. Insure your vehicle with Imperial General Assurance from now till the end of April and get yourself handsome rewards for your coupons, special souvenirs, gift vouchers, and many more. And here's the catch during this reward period your motor insurance policy will give you an automatic one year life insurance cover. You could also get brand new car tires and other car accessories as well. It is really reloaded. Everybody qualifies. Just insure your car and you're done. Call Imperial General Assurance on 0577 667 436 or talk to your broker or any of their agents across the country for further details. You can also follow them on social media. Terms and conditions apply. Imperial General Assurance, solid protection. Now, a poorly maintained car engine can age faster. That's why we offer specially formulated quartz engine oil with age resistance technology. It's a breakthrough innovation that ensures optimal performance for your engine and improves protection against mechanical wear by up to 74%, even under extreme temperatures and pressures. Now, choosing quartz from Total Energies is choosing the engine oil that keeps your engine running efficiently and effectively. Quartz keep your engine longer, younger for longer, younger for longer, younger for longer. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, Kingdom Books and Station Limited yeah, remind you to go ones. check out their website, kingdomstoreonline.com, where you can buy whatever you like from them, pay via Momo across all networks, and expect prompt delivery to your home or office. Now, if you're in Accra or Tema, that prompt delivery will also be free delivery, which is nice. Terms and conditions do apply at Kingdom, quality and affordability are their hallmarks. And here's some good news for you if you're a shareholder of Societe General Ghana. Well, henceforth, subject to the necessary approval by the regulator, you will now receive your dividends paid directly to your bank or mobile money accounts. Dividend payments will no longer be made using dividend warrants. All shareholders should update their records with the registrar and THC Limited with the following information, your bank details, email addresses, and mobile phone numbers, including mobile phone numbers registered with mobile money for Societe General Ghana shareholders with a central security depository account. Contact your stockbroker and update your records with bank details, email addresses, and mobile phone numbers, including mobile phone numbers registered with mobile money. Society General Ghana is committed to providing you sound financial solutions always. Society General Ghana, the future is you. All right, and the future is pregnant with some sports news as well as birthdays. Stay tuned for that and more on the Super Morning Show. Strutting into the most anticipated wedding of the year. Ah, only to see seven other girls wearing your exact same outfit. Ah! You are special and one of a kind. And that's why whether it's voice, data or SMS, you get to enjoy personalized offers tailored to your specific needs with MTN Just For You. Dial star 141 hash or select your options on the My MTN app to redeem your unique Just For You package on Ghana's best mobile network. MTN. Have you ever thought of the one, the one that makes you complete, an escape from the clutches of interest charges? With the standard chartered Visa debit and credit cards, payments are completed at the speed of light, intertwined with interest earning accounts. You also get unbelievable rewards every time you swipe. You have access to over 1,200 airport lounges worldwide, high credit limits of up to 100,000 Ghana cities, and up to 50 days interest-free with our credit cards. You also get to enjoy full multi trip travel insurance for 90 days. Fees discounted at your feet with our globally partnered merchant points. Bills are always settled, not battled. Get the standard chartered debit and credit card now. Call toll free on 0800-740-100 or 0302-740-100 or reach us via email on feedback.ghana at sc.com. Standard chartered, here for good. 
Auntie Araba. Hey, Boga, how are you doing today? I want to buy Pepsodent Cavity Fighter, but I don't have enough money. Oh. So what are you going to do? Can you give me the big size? You know, as for me, I'll pay the balance later. Today, no credit. Oh. I haven't sold much this morning. If you don't have enough money for the big size, why don't you try the 120 gram pack? There's a 120 gram pack? Introducing the new Pepsodent Cavity Fighter in 120 gram pack size. More affordable and convenient. Get yours today from any supermarket near you. Every smile matters. This advert is FDA approved. This election, ask your favorite politicians about their plans for tackling climate change and improving access to water, sanitation, and hygiene. Let this define who you vote for. At Water Age, we believe in the future where our leaders prioritize climate change, water, sanitation, and hygiene. Your vote can make this possible. All right, we promise we will bring you everybody's special birthday wish later. Uh, but of course, it's always brought to you on the Super Morning Show by MTN. MTN. Everywhere you go. And Bank of Africa, the African bank with global reach. Bank of Africa, as strong as a group, as, as close, close as, as a, a partner. partner. But it's time for the Joy Sports Center, which is brought to you by MTN. MTN. Everywhere you, you go. go. Standard Chartered Bank. Here, here for good. good. DSTV. It's, it's your, your moment. moment. Twisco Energy Food Drink. Twisco, Twisco power, power your dream. dream. And bet power. Mm. All right, listen. Imagine a world where your home or business is powered by the sun's boundless energy. Well, picture your rooftop transformed into a solar sanctuary, radiating with eco-friendly vibes and city-saving brilliance. Well, dream no more because with Standard Chartered's renewable energy loans, you can turn this dream into a dazzling reality. And guess what? Our renewable energy loans come at very low rates as well. We're not just offering loans. We're offering the keys to your solar-powered kingdom. So say goodbye to high electricity bills and step into a new world where every watt generated is a step towards a brighter, more sustainable future. So if you're ready to take control of your energy destiny and switch to solar today, then give Standard Chartered a call on any of these phone numbers 050 153 5789 or 050 153 5790 as well as 0244 674 154. Let's chat a court for a brighter tomorrow and make your solar dreams shine brighter than ever before. Standard chatted here for good. Here yeah, for good, my buddy. <laughs> At MTM, we believe everyone deserves the benefit of a modern, connected life. This belief in our commitment to championing Ghana's progress drive our commitment to positive change in the lives of individuals and communities. Our independence campaign is not only a celebration of Ghana's past achievements, but also a rallying crowd towards a brighter and more progressive future. By connecting with the aspirations and dreams of the Ghanaian people, we hope to inspire a sense of unity, purpose and optimism as we collectively chart a, a course towards prosperity. Join us as we embark on this remarkable journey of celebration and progress on our Ghana's rich heritage and pave the way for a future filled with endless possibilities in knowing that in spite of our challenges still Ghana go be and that is part of the independent celebration that we've been doing right uh, somebody who is not independent at all but still he, he, he will get there is Fentu Tahir Fentu aka aka what Salamatu <laughs> very good morning to you Raymond and good morning to all of you welcome to Sports Center here on Joy 99.7 FM. My name is Fentio Tahir Fentio. Coming up this morning, we review the Africa Games, which came to a conclusion on uh, Saturday night with amazing music, performances, and pretty much everything you can dream of. Welcome to Sports Center. <laughs> The 2023 African Games officially concluded on Saturday with a lively closing ceremony at the field to capacity University of Ghana Sports Stadium, which saw performances from Wiyala and Stoneboy in front of a very excited crowd. It was the first time Ghana hosted the African Games in the competition's 59-year history. 
Speaking at the closing ceremony, President Akufuado promised Ghanaians facilities that were used to host the games will be maintained and used to train future champions. Ghanaians, these facilities will be well maintained and will serve as appropriate venues for training future champions and for hosting international sporting tournaments and competitions. Indeed, the facilities will act as the nucleus for the soon-to-be-established University of Sports for Development and will also be the venues for the holding of the Ghana National Game. There's the annual sport, National Sports Festival where winners from the district and regional levels will meet to compete for the top national honor. That's President Akufuado. Meanwhile, the sports minister is calling on other international federations to collaborate with Ghana to host uh, many more international competitions. The declaration of Accra as the African city of sports for 2024 and beyond, I take the opportunity to invite confederation, federation and international Olympic committees to organize competitions here in Accra. This legacy, Mr. President, pr prosperity will never forget your administration significant impact on Ghana sports and contributing to keeping the flame of African games burning. I want to assure the good people of Ghana that we will build on the unprecedented success Ghana has achieved. Uh, that's the sports minister. Now, on the competition itself, after a rocky start to the organization of the Games, the local organizing committee recovered and did a job that has attracted praise from many. Here are a group of Nigerian journalists talking about their experiences in Ghana. Very interesting and quite impressive from the Ghanaian government because this is the first time they are hosting such a magnitude event and they pulled it off in this crazy global economy and they made everybody really comfortable and we felt like yeah, we were like at home. At home. Yeah, it was a good time. And then putting the athletes and officials and fantastic dieting, you know, yes. the yes. food was so enormous. We ate well. Great. I didn't miss one. <laughs> So Ghana needs to now, you know, uphold uh, its legacy for hosting of this competition and we hope that Egypt, which is the next host, will replicate or even, you know, surpass what Ghana has put up. Thoughts from Nigerian journalists. Now, Ghana won 68 medals overall in the Games, the most uh, medal haul the country has ever achieved in the history of the Games. The penultimate day of competition proved to be the most successful, where the country amassed eight of their 11 gold medals. It's destiny time for Ghana and Nigeria yet again in the men's 200 meters. Running the bend really well is Claude Emmanuel of Cameroon, but Joseph Polamo has come onto the home straight on the lead. It's neck to neck with Ekanem Joseph of Nigeria. But Paul Amor is uh, coming through. Paul Amor is running really strongly, and it's going to be Joseph Paul Amor. Goal for Ghana in the men's 200 meters. Joseph Paul Amor. Finally, a global title to his name. And after years and years of sacrifice, he's finally African Games champion. That's right. Joseph Paul Amos, 200-meter gold on Friday, came just hours after uh, the Ghana women's hockey team beat Nigeria on penalties in the uh, final to start of Ghana's most successful day. Amor asked the African Games medal to the Commonwealth Games bronze medal he won in 2022. My whole life, I wanted to win a medal in front of home fans. So, and this is big for me, big time. But this is my first time, and bro, it's incredible, bro. It's incredible. Hearing the national anthem being played because of me, that's big time. Can't ask for anything better. I knew it was going to happen. Um, the expectation was so big, so I knew I had to be here in front of the home fans. Being, being the, um, the bronze medal from Commonwealth Games, it's obviously people are expecting me to like win a medal over here. So getting the gold is just like big time for me. Uh, that's uh just a Paul Amor there. On the field, high jumper Evans Cardman cleared the bar at 2.23 meters to give Ghana the gold medal. The University of Ghana alumnus says winning the gold medal while being cheered on by his former Hall of Residence, Commonwealth Hall, is gratifying. I mean, it's always a joy representing your country. And if I, if I had won this uh, gold medal in a different country, the, the way people would be proud of me would have been different. But then having won on my home soil, I've done so many things on this same soil, so 
having like redo it like yeah a great honor again so yeah i feel so proud yes i had my parents i had my friends teammates everyone i put people from uh everywhere in ghana people flying flew in to come watch me so uh, that's a uh, cardman there now boxing brought four of those eight gold medals on friday as well then the last of those eight gold medals came from the black satellites on friday night where jerry and free years scored the only goal in the 90th minutes as the satellites edge uganda one nil to seal double gold in football for ghana at a rapturous Accra sports stadium the black satellites coach desmond affair credited the gfh football dna for their victory we had to select the best possible players to represent the nation, and that's what we did. We had to guide, work really hard, and we had a vision uh, together with the DNA of our national team. Uh, that's what um, we, we used uh, for this group. I don't know if you know my background. I'm also manager of high performance. It means that I'm responsible for all the national youth teams. So it's a good start for us, and also director of coach education, which means that it will help the process in terms of bringing the, our new national philosophy, national DNA. That's all fair there. Remember, the Black Princesses also won gold on Thursday after they beat Nigeria 2-1 in extra time. That made Yusi Bazigi the first coach in the history of the African Games football competition to win two gold medals. He also guided the Black Queens to achieve the same feat back in 2015. Now, Ghana's total medal count after the game stands at 68, 19 uh, of them being gold, 29 silver, and tw uh, 19 of them being bronze, placing Ghana's Sith overall let's move on to the black stars who were beaten 2-1 by nigeria on friday in their friendly match played in morocco cyril desis and adumola lukman scored for nigeria while jordan Ayu got the consolation for the 10-man black stars in additional time the ghana coach is otoado he says a draw would have been a fair result um first half i think they had the better chances but second half we really did well now if we want to come to the positive uh, sign um things that we did um Second half, I think, with 10 men, even we controlled them. Um, we were a little bit unlucky in the, in the finishing. And um, I think what killed us was, the, was their second goal, because we were close actually to equalize. But um, yeah, I think in all, the draw would have been deserved. But um, like I said, we, we lost and we have to improve. That's uh, so to there. Remember, Ghana play Uganda in another friendly match tomorrow. Now, there was also Ghana Premier League Week 23 action over the weekend. Kotoko suffered a fourth consecutive defeat after yesterday's 1 year loss to Nations FC at the Babaya Stadium, where the fans stopped the referees from going into the dressing room at halftime. The defeat means Kotoko dropped at knife with 32 points. Hearts of Hook also lost 2-1 to leader Samatex, making it the first defeat in six games under their new coach, Abubakar Ouattara. Hearts are now eighth with 32 points, while Samatex take their point tally to 42. And before we go, Malaysia has rejected an offer to host the 2026 Commonwealth Games, putting it at risk of being cancelled for the first time since the Second World War. Officials said the Commonwealth Games Federation's offer of £100 million in funding was insufficient and they had not been left with enough time to plan. They also say they have to deal with bread and butter issues first with their people before they think about investing over £4 billion into hosting a sporting competition. That's all the sports this morning uh, here on the Joy Sports Centre. My name is Fentu Tahiru Fentu. Back to you, Mama V. Thank you, Fentu. And let's quickly cross over to Uncle Lebo White. This is the last week in March, so the last but one in the series, the Gunnerman series. Uncle, a very good morning to you. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. I hope you're well. And good, and good morning to the handsome guy in front of you. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, Uncle. You see, Mama V is not happy you called me handsome. But when they called her gorgeous, she was smiling and laughing. You see, this world is not fair. Well, I was watching you when I called her gorgeous. You didn't celebrate either. <laughs> I had I had I had an internal smile. <laughs> Oh no, my 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 I, I think Ghana has to be proud with the organization of this um, African Cup Games. Mm -hmm. African um, Games. Yeah. Um, well done to everyone. And thank you. I enjoyed your, I enjoyed your um, commentary. Thank you very much. I, thank you. The, the biggest name that I am taking from this um, whole um, competition is 
The Gambian girl. Gina Bass. Yeah. She's made her she country good. proud. Yeah, she made her country proud. We should have asked her to nationalize her Ghana. <laughs> we probably should have. <laughs> Anyway, I'm but glad you enjoyed games. the game. Uh, Fento, Fento, shouldn't we ask for it? Uh, ask for the Commonwealth Games to be brought here. <laughs> <laughs> I have no comment. <laughs> uh, Mama, we, we, have, we have the. <laughs> we have the <laughs> you know, that's not the first time. Australia, the city of Victoria, said that they didn't have money to organize the games. Uh, and then they started looking for a new host. Then they reached out to Malaysia. And then they offered, the Commonwealth Games Federation offered to help Malaysia organize the games. And they were advancing 100 million pounds to them. And they said the 100 million is vastly insufficient to help them organize the game. So they will not do it. They have bread and butter issues to contend with. Now, Birmingham, the city in the UK that organized the games, uh, they apparently the city council is now broke and they said that organizing the games was a big mistake so they're struggling to find a host now and if we have four billion which is precisely the amount of money we're asking for the IMF that's what <laughs> is required to host the games well uh, we can take a loan <laughs> we are very good at it. Uncle Buddy Asembeba. Anyway, um, Rogers, this weekend is when it's happening. Yes. Um, the, Dubai. Uh, Dubai of Lusex. Lusex. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts running this this um, Friday. Right. And then um, for the first weekend, it will run um, from Friday to Monday. Mm -hmm. And then the weekend after that. So if you haven't... Um, um put us on your calendar please put us on your calendar right uh, the course is nowhere near hosting the commonwealth game so you should be able to <laughs> Roger, this is the last of my presentations on ghana men for this year okay. on thursday god willing yeah on thursday god willing i shall turn my turn my focus to the profound re relevance of the easter story okay for us in our modern world okay all right my final Ghana men presentation, I want to share with you my encounter with blatant corruption and impunity of evil in Ghana. Through this experience that I'm about to relate to you, I understood why evil thrives in Ghana. The year was 1988. I was the new head of marketing and sales with a company that was the leader in its sector. We were rebranding. And I was in charge of the rebranding. It was my first major task for the company. And I needed a permit for some aspects of our marketing campaign. And for that, I was directed to the office where such permits were obtained. I drove there one afternoon, told the receptionist what I needed, and she directed me to the second floor, to the office of the man, the young man in charge of issuing permits. The officer received me formally. I told him of my mission and he said, you have to pay, and I, I'm not giving the exact amount, but let's work with this one, a thousand CDs for the permit. Mavi, I had done my homework before coming to see him and I knew that the official fee for the permit I needed was 150 CDs. So I said, has the fees been revised this morning? Because I checked before coming here and it was 150. The young man said, the official fee is indeed 150. But if you really want a permit, then you have to pay the thousand cities or trust me, you will not get the permit. Are you demanding a bribe from me? I, I asked him. He said, you can call it whatever you want, but if you do not pay what I have asked, you will not get your permit. I said, you know, I can report you for this. He said, my boss is on the next floor, room number 320. Go and report. I was enraged at the impudence of the young man. And so I went to the third floor, to room number 320. I discovered that that was indeed the office of the overall boss. He was very warm and pleasant with me. He said, my brother, 
how may I help you? I told him what had transpired on the second floor, and he shook his head and said, such things cannot go on in my outfit. He said, I want to commend you for your courage in coming to report. Most people would have just gone away without reporting, and then this kind of thing will continue to go on. He said, I'm going to deal severely with that, with that boy. Now go and come tomorrow, and I would have taken care of everything. I thanked him and took my leave. I felt I had done my patriotic duty in ensuring that corruption is dealt with in Ghana. The next morning, I walked into room number 320 with confidence and a feeling of triumph. The boss again received me very warmly. He said, you are welcome, my brother. I have taken care of everything. I have spoken very strongly to, the, to my boy, and he will not do that again. So now go and see him. Everything will be fine. I thanked him profusely and said, Sir, I wish there were more people like you handling the affairs of Ghana. Maybe it was a very confident Ebo White who went back to the young man I had dealt with the day before. I was sure he would be shaking and maybe even ask me to forgive him for, for what he had done, but that was not what happened. As soon as I entered his office, the young man, calm and collected, said, you went to report to me to my boss yesterday. What did you expect? That he would sack me? Do you think I would have had the courage to ask for that amount if I had not been empowered to do so? Let me tell you, my boss, the man you went to, signs every permit that leaves this office, and he has a record of how many permits I take to him to sign. And so he knows how much money I have to give him at the end of every day. If I make a mistake to touch even a person of that amount, he will kill me. Then he said, now, go back to my boss and tell him that I say I will not work on your permit. Go. I was totally confused. What was going on here? This was not what I expected, but I also knew I could not leave the office without a permit. It will set back our rebranding and cost us a lot of money. Maybe, believe it or not, I ended up having to beg this young man to attend to my permit. I felt so defeated and humiliated, and I felt so powerless. That was the day I understood the power of corruption in Ghana and why it continues to grow stronger and more pervasive in Ghana. You see, corruption in Ghana is a teamwork, and it has stakeholders. The small fly who takes 10 cities 10 Ghana cities from you is not doing it for himself. He has someone bigger up who has a stake in the 10 Ghana cities. And that one also has a bigger fish with whom he has to share the booty. There are big men nobody can accuse of taking a bribe, but who are stakeholders from the corruption of those under them. And why will any big man do that? Simple. We expect our big men to be corrupt. We encourage them to be corrupt. We expect our big men to live up to a certain standard that can only be sustained with the gains of corruption. We expect them to, for instance, drive certain cars, live, live in certain houses and in certain parts of Accra that can on, only be, be, made, be done at someone else's expense. And we want them to take their children to certain schools schools they cannot afford on their legitimate salaries. As long as we do not care how someone can afford the standard of living we expect of them, then we encourage them to supplement their incomes one way or the other through legitimate or illegitimate means. Corruption can be beaten in Ghana, but not by a few people, and not with our current value system, where we celebrate what you have without being interested in how you could afford it. And gorgeous, that is my presentation for this morning. Apt. Corruption in Ghana is teamwork, really, with lots of stakeholders, big people uh, at the and, top. And, and the stakeholders don't play with their share. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> they ah. don't play with their share. Mm. Uncle, someday, someday. Yeah. Maybe this will change. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great week.
I wish you same. That's Uncle Boy with Food for Thoughts. And that ends his Gunnerman series. Uh, and it's about a minute after eight. We sincerely apologize. We're now bringing you the Business Minute, which is brought to us by Consolidated Bank and Anointed Electricals and Waika Recapital. Here's the Joy Business Minutes. Hello, welcome to the Joy Business Minute, brought to you by Consolidated Bengana. We stand with you, Anointed Electricals, the Generator Experts, and Waikari Capital together towards tomorrow. Interest rates tumbled to 25.99%, the 12th consecutive week in 2024. As it announces this policy rate later today, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana has been advised to adopt a cautious approach in reducing the policy rate. This caution, US-based Ghanaian economist Dr. Dennis Nsapa believes is warranted because inflation remains high and sticky. The National Communications Authority has indicated that there will still be pockets of the connectivity challenges despite the restoration of internet services. Elsewhere, Saudi Arabia has announced it will build a theme park based on the famed Japanese animated series Dragon Ball, sparking mixed reactions from fans. And that's the Joy Business Minute, brought to you by Consolidated Bank Ghana. We stand with you, Anointed Electric House, the Generator Experts, and Waikari Capital, together towards tomorrow. Keep this frequency clear. 99.7. It's the most popular radio station in Ghana. Breakfast show in town, the hottest music, the best giveaways, the great interviews, and all the laughter and fun you can imagine. Don't miss the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. It's the best breakfast show in town. And thanks to Consolidated Bank Ghana, CBG, we stand with you, Anointed Electricals, the Generator Experts, and Waikari Capital together to us. Tomorrow, we just brought to you the Business Minutes. And Waikari Capital is a multinational fund management company regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Waikari Capital, with experience in fund management and investment banking, has over the years helped its customers to thrive by enabling them to achieve their lifetime financial goals. So Waikari Capital actually invests funds in ways that create a positive future for its customers, their families and businesses, and they also offer for corporate finance and advisory. In these ways, Waikari Capital helps its customers to create the best life. They want to create the best life for you too, listening to me right now. So just speak to Waikari Capital on 050-157-7546 or 050-157-547. And their office is on the fourth floor of the Gulf House. It's opposite the Ghana Standards Authority. You can always go there and talk to them. Uh, you can also visit their website, waikarecapital.com. That's W-A-I-C-A-R-E capital.com. You can get more information when you log on to waikarecapital.com. Waikari Capital, together to us tomorrow. And if you're a salaried worker and you're in need of financial support before your next paycheck, then this one is just for you. You perhaps need funds to solve some urgent financial needs. Uh, well, you can access up to guess how much? 400,000 Ghana cities with CBG salary-backed loan products at competitive interest rate. Acquire that appliance you've been dreaming about, settle your overdue rent, complete that project at home and do more with the salary-backed loans. Visit any of CBG's 114 branches nationwide and explore uh, their variety of salary Backed loan products, including Salary Advance, which is the payday loan, also Dream Life, Personal Overdraft Controller, and PESA term loans, all with flexible payment uh, repayment conditions, actually. For inquiries, contact CBG by calling 0302 uh, 0302216000. That's 0302216000. Send an email to talk to us at cbg.com.gh. It's talk to us together at cbg.com.gh or visit any of their social media handles. They've got handles on Facebook, Instagram, and X. Terms and conditions apply. CBG, we stand with you. The lights keep going on and off. You never can tell because we don't have a load management timetable. We do not at all. So listen, you need a generator. If you're an SME, you're a big business, you're a small business, uh, you want your home to be comfortable, then you need a standby generator. 
Anointed Engineering Services Limited actually sells the ultra silent generators. You know, those generators that when you put on, you will not be disturbing your neighbor who perhaps will not have a generator. So they have uh, from 5 kVA to 2,005 kVA. They also undertake maintenance and repairs of all kinds of diesel generators. And they say, even if you do not buy your generator from them, they can maintain, they can repair for you. They stock genuine spare parts as well. And they do generator rentals. They have branches nationwide, but here's their latest. Branch is in Amrahia. Frims Oil on the main Adenta Dodoa Road. They also have a branch in East Ligon. It's on the Ligon. Lagos Avenue opposite Tom Rick Hotel and in Tema, the Tema General Hospital Road Community 9 just after the overhead. They're also in Kaswa of the Wager Kaswa Road near Semaf Cement Depot. They actually have lots of branches. So why don't you call their hotline and find the nearest Anointed Engineering Services Limited 0243 480-334. 0243-480-334. Three, three, four. Services are absolutely customized, so they can, you know, come to a certain arrangement with you, so you can take your time and pay as well. Their head office is at number seventy-seven, Anointed House of the Odoko Malam Road. Anointed, the generator experts. You heard Uncle Lebo White with Food for Thought, brought to us by Roverman Productions. Be the difference. The Easter play is just this Friday. Dubai or no sex. It begins on Friday 29th, also shows on 30th and 31st of March. And then 1st, 5th, 6th and 7th of April 2024. Show times. Uh, when we start this Friday, there will be one show only at 7 p.m. But on Saturday, two shows, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. And then on Sundays, three shows, that's 1 p.m., 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. And two shows on Easter Monday, 1st of April at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. If you have not not reserved a ticket if you have not bought a ticket please do so now venues the national theater and it will cost you only 200 ghana cities uncle Ibu says nowhere near what we spent hosting the african games only 200 ghana cities but you don't have to go and watch the play alone so buy tickets via copper short code star 365 star 535 hash that's star 365 star 535 hash at all regular outlets there are physical ticket as well you can drop by joy fm and get yourself a ticket for instance be informed that a purchase ticket may earn you a free round trip to dubai for inquiries call 059 692 one nine six zero or send WhatsApp to zero five zero five five four six zero three zero. You can also follow Riverman Productions on social media at Riverman Productions, proudly sponsored by Geno Tomato Mix and GCB Bank Limited. Media partner is M Notify and Logistic Movers. Buy your tickets now. Riverman Productions be the difference. And thanks to EcoBank, a better way, a better African Provident Insurance with Providence. Man, you're covered. You're able to send us your WhatsApp messages on 55 Also post on X, Joy997 and on Facebook with the hashtag JoySMS. So every day we face different emergencies. Hopefully you don't have to call the police emergency number today or you don't have a medical emergency. I pray so. But if it has to do with money, we can resolve it now, 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 now with star 770 hash. That's the Echo Bank money emergency number that you need on your phone. You don't need data to access star 770 hash. All you need is just your phone, dial star 770 hash. Uh, and get instant access to loans. You can also, um, you know, make fund transfers. You can pay your utility bills. You can buy airtime. You can even purchase data uh, on Star Seven Seven Zero Hash. So there's no need to panic when you find yourself in any money emergency. Echo Bank will always come to your rescue. Dial Star Seven Seven Zero Hash now for solutions to your money emergencies. Echo Bank is the Pan African Bank, and let's quickly bring you our insurance today. Bro- to us by Enterprise Insurance at 100. Enterprise celebrating our legacy, securing our future. 
Insurance Today is a public education service by Enterprise Insurance. Ensure you speak with duly registered insurance professionals before making any insurance decisions. Hello, I am Baba Taylor. Glad you're tuning and joining me. Our engines are wrapped, so let's drive. Generally, people have negative views about insurance, that it is a scam. There are stories of bad experiences that people have had with insurance companies, leading to questions about integrity and concerns that insurance companies are not truthful. Why such a bad reputation? The distrust and lack of transparency between consumers and insurance companies have led many to believe that insurance just swindles people. Consumers point to issues of frustrating payment processes, denial of claims, complicated agreements where applicants don't know what they are getting or not getting, and so on. The problem, in some ways, is that as a provider of protection, insurance has to be able to go on serving people. Businesses have to be profitable, although consumers believe that many insurance providers give more priority to making profit at any cost and caring less about the hurt and pain they cause to those they should be protecting. Due to people's strong bias, they do not realize that insurance is guided by a very strong principle. And this is the principle of honesty required from both insurance companies and customers. The National Insurance Commission, Ghana's insurance regulator, works hard to ensure that rules are strictly followed. You can make insurance work for you. Remember this and never forget it. Your insurance company must always be on your side and be willing to help you at every step of your relationship with them. Take time to educate yourself about how insurance works before making your decisions. That's it for today. WhatsApp us at 0202-015-100. Enterprise, your advantage. <laughs> Joy 99.7 FM. Across Africa, a new era has begun. Shifting our focus to a new horizon, connecting us with one purpose, to create and share opportunities to grow. Today, we are making a brighter tomorrow, built by our dreams and our energy. Across our continent, across the world, we are creating a better way to a better future. A pan-African future, together. Ecobank, a better way, a better Africa. Hello, fair driver, are you, are you sending the sales? Boss, medicana copin. Hey, what the car to me so? Boss, you know renew the insurance. Tell it. I didn't have time, oh. I had to go to the farm. You can insure on the farm. And I had to go to the market too. You could have insured in the market. Ah, I had to cook supper for my wife. Abba. Boss, you could have insured in the market. Ah, but how? By texting or buyer on 0242 426 396 to help insure with Provident Insurance on WhatsApp from anywhere. And to Bebia Bebia. Ani Bebia Bebia with Obaya. Now you can insure your car anywhere, anytime. On WhatsApp, text or buyer on 0242 426 396 today with, with Provident. Provident. Man, you are covered. Oh. Joy 99.7 FM
the choir is 35 years and we're going to be celebrating the Winneba Youth Choir here on the Super Morning Show. It's actually one of our very favorite choirs in Ghana, the Winneba Youth Choir and they are 35 years. Any memories, any favorite sounds from the Winneba Youth Choir? More on the Super Morning Show today, but we've got our big stories brought to us by Telecell Connecting Energy's latest film, Your Partner for Life and Emirates. Fly, Emirates, fly better. We've been talking about the free senior high school policy, zeroing in particularly on feeding, which is a huge challenge. We're told it takes about 70% 70, uh, 70 of the total budget. And we've been highlighting with Quitinati's latest work around, across the country, really. Really, the fact that food is inadequate, we've heard students complain, we've, we've heard uh, parents also complain, we've heard teachers complain about the food that is given to our students. We had a big dialogue on the back of the documentary last week and our stakeholders um, talked about solutions. So today it's all about the solutions. All about the solutions. How do we resolve this? And there's been a call to government. Listen, be open. The policy needs a review. There are challenges. It's only when we explore together that we can have a lasting solution. So we'll be going back to some of the solutions I uh, preferred last week when we had the dialogue. Here on the Super Morning Show, thanks to Telecell Latest Film and Emirates, we're able to bring you that conversation here on the Super Morning Show. So please send your comments. We're talking about the solutions. How do we resolve the issue of inadequate food in our senior high schools? 055 111 uh, That's our WhatsApp number. And also post on X with the hashtag Joy SMS. But you're about to have the world at your finger tips because the wait is finally over. Telecell is here. Now you have everything you want and need. Quick and reliable communication, stress-free money transactions via Telecell Cash, transforming your big business ideas into success stories with Telecell Business and more. Connect with Telecell and enjoy a world of endless possibilities because with Telecell there's no limit to connections. Telecell connecting energies. And dreaming of the perfect sofa to upgrade this year while well, you dream so far is now a reality a latest film introducing our sensational v-shape uh, sofa range where comfort meets style at prizes that will make your heart skip a bit hop uh, into any latest film showroom nationwide to dive into a world of colors and choices so from the sleek l-shaped v sofa at just 3100 ghana cds or maybe you want the complete V sofa set for an unbeatable prize of 6,500 Ghana cities. You have the opportunity to elevate your living space with latest film, your forever partner in comfort and luxury. Harry, your perfect sofa awaits. Latest film is your partner for life. And you can now get your vehicle insured anywhere, anytime with Provident Insurances. Obaya. Obaya is on WhatsApp. Oh, she works around the clock, so you don't have to worry about closing times at all you can buy renew and file claims for your vehicle bear bia bear bia all you have to do is chat obaya and obaya's whatsapp number is 0242-426-396-0242-426-396 and let obaya help you it's quick convenient reliable and saves you plenty of time so you can do more in your day just chat obaya bear bia bear bia and get your vehicle insured now on Provident Insurance. So text your buyer, baby, baby. And remember, with Provident, man, you're covered. <laughs> it's 21 minutes after 8 here on the Super Morning Show. One one minutes after eight, the Super Morning Show. We'll be talking to the Winnebar Youth Class. They celebrate 35 good years, giving us amazing music. 
in these 35 years. The Universe uh, Youth Choir here on the Super Morning Show. We're hosting them next. Stay with us.
93.7 FM. Is the winner by Youth Choir with Jimmy Tata. They are live on the Super Morning Show. I just want to say, Yamamwa Kwaba, because still, you're Ghana month. And Yamawana Kwaba. And Chet will be winning, Babia. Aha. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so I have in the studio Emmanuel Teta, his administrator, Winneba Youth Choir. Hello, Emmanuel. Hi. Okay, that's you. Jeffrey Amwa is a personal assistant to the choir master. Who is the choir master? Mr. Francis Atayamwa. Good morning. Pajon. Mr. Atayamwa. Pajon. Okay. And then Eunice Taki is a member. Okay. Um, it's good to have you guys here. Thank, Thank you. you. And happy anniversary. Thank, Thank you. you. You are 35 years. Let's yeah. share a brief history of the Winneba Youth Choir. Who is going to take it? How I did remember. it all begin? Um, so that is in May 1989. Um, we had this renowned musical composer. That is George Mesa Esilfi. And then he was a principal organist for the Ebenezer Methodist Choir that is in Winneba. Mm. Yeah, so he came up with a brilliant idea to train the children who accompanied their parents to choir rehearsals. Okay. And then at that time, we had Mr. John Francis Atayamwa. He was 14 years at that age. Really? Yes. <laughs> and then he was the assistant um, choir, uh, conductor. Okay. At that time. So the choir master today was 14 years when the choir, the youth choir was best. Yes, please. Wow. <laughs> so at that time, they came up with this idea to groom the kids to form a junior choir. Okay. To form a junior choir. So these two proceeded and then they increased the size of the junior choir using selected members from the Winneba Boys and then uh, Girls School. Okay. Yes. So with the help of Mr. Albert Benjamin Yamwa, Benjamin Yamwa, that's the lead, Benjamin Yamwa, and then Mrs. Awachi Pratt. Mm. So they helped recruit uh, the kids into the junior choir. And then to form a very big choir, that is the Winneba Youth Choir present today, mm -hmm. they had to move into an interdenominational choir. Oh. And then with the help of His Excellency Colin Kansa and then Mariam Aka, the lead vice president, they helped recruit members and then it became the formal Winneba Youth Choir we are having right now. Right. So it yes. cuts across churches. Yes, please. Your, your membership. Yes. yes. Okay. Let's talk about some memorable milestones or experiences. What do you remember that you want to share with us? So I think from humble beginnings throughout the whole journey, we've gone through think, uh, thick and thin. And then Yes, we've had our ups and downs, but then through it all, we give thanks to God. I know we have been the first choral group in existence in Ghana, okay. for the record. And then also, we have been the first Pan-African choir to perform in an Arab land, that is Saudi Arabia. Oh, wow. That was last year. Okay, congrats. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> also, we have performed from for every president in America who has stepped foot in our in our land. Mm. Yes, all the three. Okay. And then every major event in Ghana from the presidency we have been there live. We know you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the when the by youth choir we're talking about. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. So it has been a memorable one from nineteen eighty nine to date. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the anniversary. Um, I don't know if Jeffrey would talk to us about the event that you've lined up to mark your 35th anniversary. 
Yeah, okay, so coming Saturday, which is 38th March, we are having a concert which we've named the Asida concert. We are okay. giving thanks to God okay. for how long He has been able to help us, the guidance, the protection. We are traveling constantly mm. as members, but it has all been God. Mm. And we want to also invite all our chief patrons and patrons who have also been supporting us since day one till now to also come and enjoy good choral music as we also give thanks to God. Okay. So the time is 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. at Labadi Beach Hotel, the Omanya Hall. Okay. And yes. are you charging for that? No. Oh, it's free. Yeah, we are not. It's free, but we are going yeah. to be having a fundraising. Okay. Yeah. So you don't just walk there empty-handed. You have to be ready to. Yes, please. Are yes, you please. giving out invitation? Yes, yes we be, uh, we are giving out invitations to all our chief patrons and patrons, and most of them too. Sometimes due to their busy schedules, mm -hmm. I know that it might reach them late. So through this medium, we want to make them all aware that we've sent all the invitations to them. So please, if even they don't get it on time. Mm -hmm. We are always welcoming them, and is we always Saturday? want them to come. Yes, please. This at Saturday. the Labadi Beach Hotel. Yes, please. At six thirty, you said. Yeah, six p.m. Six p.m. Yes, six p.m. or not six thirty. Yes, please. <laughs> six p.m. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so, what other initiatives do you have? Other things line up? Yes. So we have this. Um, we are we are using the fundraising mm -hmm. part to support the purchase of a bus oh okay for the car due to our travel right initiatives yes okay and then also we know we are in a, we are in the digital world so we are changing our sound setup because we have this particular sound of the choir that i think no other choir can be touched to it mm. so so is there yeah. a target how much are you hoping that you'd raise um i think that would be done there <laughs> <laughs> yes but then even if you are not able to come, we have a short code that you can donate to. Okay. Yes. I think I can put that. Oh, yeah. Let's yes. hear so it. So, mm -hmm. I think that is um, whether MTN, Ethel Tigo, whether Telecell. Mm -hmm. Thank yes, you. Yes, all networks. We have star 776 star 100 hash. And the merchant code is 3081. And then you would get a notification after... Please let's have. hear it again. So it is star seven seven six star one zero zero hash, and the merchant code is three zero eight one. Okay. And then you follow the prompt, and then you can donate anything you want to donate to the choir. Okay. You'd get a prompt for us, and then we would appreciate it very well. So this one, you don't have to wait for Saturday. You At can all. do it now. Yes, As we Like right now, right now, right yes, now. Yes, please. So you're helping the Winneba Youth Choir raise enough funds to get a bus. Yes. And also get and equipment, new. right? New yes, equipment. Yeah. For obviously what you do. Yes, You've please. been serving us for over 30 years. Okay. And I think this is just the little that we can all do to support. Yeah. The winner by youth choir. So if you are hearing us, and I know that you are listening to us right now, you heard the the numbers, the prompts, right? Yeah. So please pick up your phone and make some donation. Kitwebi and Swana. Okay. All right. <laughs> so let's talk up quickly about the future. What are your plans for the next thirty five years? Okay. So. Rinneba Youth Choir, as we know, we are grooming young people in Rinneba, especially. Mm. And I've benefited so much from it, I personally and most of my colleagues. So all of you come from Winneba? Like yes. the members of the of the choir, you all live in Winneba? Yes. 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 Oh. At some point, we, we started in Winneba and then as we grow, we find ourselves in different places. But we still always make our way back to Winneba. Okay. Yeah. So we are, we are still seeking new members especially those who are closer to Winneba and its environment <laughs> 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 to improve and then go older, like to increase our How numbers. How young do you take them? Okay, so um, usually it used to be from eight years and above, but now we, with the junior choir, which is the children's choir where you groom you before you enter into the main Winneba Youth Choir, mm -hmm. for now I think we are now also making preparations to start with that again okay so from ages of 14 years and above you okay. can join me is that a cutoff point no but just that we are youth so we are <laughs> in the <laughs> you youth, must be youth <laughs> age range okay, yes. so i want to ask you you know how old were you when you joined the choir um i was 15 years let oh, me say wow. that yeah oh wow and i've been in the choir for the past um 
15 years. I know that she paused because <laughs> she didn't want to than... disclose her age. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and Jeffrey, how old were you when you joined the choir? I was 12 years. Wow. <laughs> you are a grown man right now. <laughs> um, and Imano, do you also sing? Yes, please, I do. Oh, so you're an administrator, but you also sing? Yes, I sing the bass. Ah, that's <laughs> obvious. Yeah. How old were you when you joined? I was 17. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh, please. <laughs> okay, so we are, we are also having events that are coming up, which is going to be open to both the public, and then we also have more things that we are trying to put in place to make sure that the activities of the choir mm. keeps growing, and then we keep helping most of the youths in Winneba too as well. Right. Okay. Um, so where is the auditioning happening if somebody wants to join? Because you said that you're open. Yes. Please. How how do um, they reach you? So I think I can put a number out okay. if you want to join. Just call and then we'll follow up with you. Right. Yeah. So the number is zero five nine six zero 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 six five seven. So if you call. We can just follow up with you. Should you have some sort of, you know, educational background? Do you have? Should must you have some sort of profession? No, just be What's ready to just be ready to learn. Okay. And you should be able to read and write too, as well, obviously. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So musical, uh, yes. Okay, so so Eunice, do you have? Do you do something else apart from doing the choir business? Is yeah. there room for you to do some work? Yes, please. Okay, so all of you do have a... Yes, have most, a of, most, of, most of us are in school. Okay. In the university, SS, JHS, and everything. And most of us too are working. Okay. So we have um, um, rehearsal days okay. to rehearse, which is on Wednesdays and Fridays. So we have time to do... Uh, schedules and then mm. okay so you have time to, to work you have time to school yes please available okay uh, so you you know we can have whenever you come all the way from Winneba <laughs> to Accra when they are celebrating 35 years without us you know hearing something from them you sing in life I've been playing some of your sounds but these are recorded <laughs> so we want to hear you live Thankfully, the choir master himself is here. So, if you're ready, are you guys ready? Yes, yes please. All yeah. right, then take it away. <laughs> Joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul, Christ in my soul, joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul, I love the station, joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul. Joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul. Joy, 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 like a river, joy, 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 Joy 997 Papa mo o boni mo onu ane mi jefo ni besi biara mi da mi na Yesu tani na mi na Yesu mi wazi ni na mi shi a Yesu o ma 
Super Morning Show on 99.7. Don't get it twisted. This is still the Super Morning Show. Enjoy 99.7. And they are 35 years. Listen, congratulations to you guys. We Thank you. Hooray to good 35 years. Amazing music. <laughs> blessing us. I mean, you don't just sing. It's always a blessing when we hear you sing. So we want to say thank you. Thank you You're for welcome. offering yourselves to serve Ghana. Just before you leave, I want you to put out that short code again. How we can support you, um, because your plans are to raise Funds. enough money <coughs> to buy a bus yes, and please. to also buy some equipment. Yes, and we please. all want to help you in yeah. doing so. So please. So the short code is star seven seven six star one zero zero hash. You follow the prompt, and then the merchant's code is three zero. Eight one. All networks. All networks. Yes, yeah. uh, Eunice is reminding you. All <laughs> networks. Uh, just before you leave, final words from the three of you. Eunice, okay. we want to um, appreciate our patrons and then our chief patrons, and also we want to invite each and every one who can make it out of their busy schedule to come and support us. Those who can, and those who can't, at least. Their donations can, so they should please send their donations to the short code. Okay, given earlier. All Thank right. Thank you very much. Thank you too. <laughs> and that's Eunice uh, Taki. She's a member of the Winneba Youth Choir. Uh, you also heard there from Emmanuel Tete, the administrator, Winneba Youth Choir, and Jeffrey Amwa, who's a personal assistant to the choir master, uh, Mr. Johnny, who himself is here. Yeah. Pajon. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys uh, Thank you. and happy anniversary. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> cup and joy on the set the super morning show is always, always the best, best bet on joy 99.7 fm a bank that supports you a bank that cares for you hand in hand we stand with you so lift your head up be 
Yeah. Don't you know Nana has assembled all of us and you are here making calls? My generator is poor too. Mm. So I'm calling a renowned Ghanaian company with an excellent track record in the sales and repairs of generator set in Accra to come and repair for me. Oh, ah. is it Anointed Electricals? Yeah. Anointed Electricals deals in quality and genuine generators with high fuel efficiency. We also rent generators. They sell quality generators from 10 kVA to 2,500 kVA. They have spare parts of other generators and can repair every 40 generator set even if you didn't buy from them. Look, now we don't have any electrical problem in Accra. Oh, wow. wow. Because Anointed Electric House is right here at East Legon, Lagos Avenue, opposite Tomrick Hotel. And that's why Nana is calling us. Okay. Yes. If you want to buy a brand new generator or repair the old one, visit Anointed Electric House. Or if you are reading Accra, call a hotline 0246-423-534 or call 0243-480-334. They have qualified and dedicated men on 24 hours hour after sales service. Hey, then let's go and listen to Nana. Let's go. <laughs> Gosh, after giving you the hint, won't you give me anything? <laughs> <laughs> Anointed, the generator experts. Waikari Capital. We are a multinational fund management company regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Our aim is to help our customers thrive by enabling them to achieve their lifetime financial goals while investing their funds in ways that create a positive future for them, their families and their businesses. In this way, we help them to create the best life. Speak to us today. Call us on 050-157-7546 or 050-157-7547. Visit www.wikarecapital.com. Wikare Capital. Together towards tomorrow. Happy Wednesday and welcome to Vital Science by Sonotech Medical Center. I'm Dr. Grace Backman. Today, let's dive into the realm of diagnostic tests for kidney diseases. Detecting kidney disease early is crucial for effective treatment. Fortunately, there are several diagnostic tests available to assess kidney function. The urinalysis test checks the appearance, concentration, and content of your urine. The BU creatinine or kidney function test helps us know how your kidneys are filtering waste from your blood. Imaging tests like the ultrasound and CT scan can also provide detailed images of the kidneys, helping to identify structural abnormalities or blockages. A kidney biopsy, which is less common, also helps in diagnosing the specific type and severity of kidney disease. Reach out to Sonotech on 0242-439-467. It's a mega sale at Orca this Easter with up to 60% off everything in store. Save big on furniture, home decor, kitchen items, and more. We've got the best quality for the best prices. Who can compare? Locate us at Accra Mall and on Spintex Road this Easter and enjoy up to 60% off at Orca Decor. Hello, Accra! The biggest playground event is back again. Indomie Fest 2024. This Easter, all roads lead to the Ifwa Sutherland Children's Park to witness the biggest fun fair in Accra. Are you ready to meet real-life superheroes? Be at Indomie Fest 2024 to meet the Indomitables. This Easter Monday, April 1st, 2024. A day to enjoy Indomie instant noodle recipes and a day for kids to play all day. There'll be bouncy castles, photo booths, piñatas, trampolines, and many more. Grab your ticket for five Ghana CDs only and enjoy performances from the Beam Nation president Stone Boy and many more all at the F1 Sutherland Children's Park. For more information, contact 0549-012567. Indomie Fest, proudly brought to you by Indomie Instant Noodles. 
Are you a corporate organization, e-commerce business, individual or student looking for a trusted courier company? Where you can track your package and receive SMS alerts to keep you posted? At IAS FedEx, we move your documents and parcels with care to the destination of your choice. With offices across the nation, we happily deliver your package to your office or the comfort of your home. With the assurance of safety and affordability giving you peace of mind, IAS FedEx has your package in good hands. Call us on plus 233-501-605000 or plus 233-501-631000. IAS, licensee of FedEx. in your cup and joy on the set the super morning show is always, always the best, best bet on joy 99.7 fm welcome back it's the super morning show on joy lots coming up including this in my world school they have given them gary with pepe as supper continuously you know for about because that was what was available at that time when we went to uh Western region for our conference. Mm. In the welcome address of our president, just a remark that the free HSS policy needed to be reviewed. It was a big problem. <laughs> and uh, we were summoned. And I, I'm, talk, I'm, I'm being very serious about it. Mm. Just the use of the word review. We cannot continue with this firefight. You cannot run a program for almost eight years and yet be adamant to a call, a clarion call for a review. If indeed headmasters are afraid to speak, what also happens to their own associations like Nagrat, Chas, Nat, and CCT? But I'm saying that there has not been a single instance where any head teacher has been victimized or demoted on account of speaking on free SHS policy. There are periods in other schools where you go to the dining and you have hot water and soup served as lunch. Hot water and soup and soup. Which means that, come with your Gary. The same amount is what is being remitted to schools, even if it comes at all. One CD, 56 per source. One CD, 56 per source. Per, source. per, source. per student, per day. day. That is three meals. That is what is being used to prepare three meals for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy stuff. We're going to be getting into the solutions today on the Super Morning Show. Also, who is this strange doctor who decided to just go on social media and share personal information about a celebrity patient? Mm. Mm, get into it all. All right. We promised you we would um, celebrate your birthdays with you. Let me start. Okay. This one says, please wish Professor Richmond Aite, head of Department Population and Reproductive Health, a happy birthday. It's from his wife and kids. This one is for Edward Nanabwachiacham. A.K.A. Achi of MPS Tema. Uh, happy chaotic birthday to him. Grow healthy and wealthy is from Johnny Dadze. Uh, happy second birthday oh, to my only son, Jeremy Ni Aite Ato of Little Treasures Montessori at Roman Ridge. With lots of love from myself, your mum, Amelia, and your sisters, Nora and Raina. You can guess who that one is from. It's from Nathaniel Ato, wishing his uh, little one a happy birthday. Also, happy birthday to Humphrey Nene Nati, uh, who is an avid listener of our show. Um, shall I do one more? Yeah, mm, if you Sammy yeah. wants me to do this one, so okay. I guess I'll do it. I'll read the message as it is. I woke up with gratitude in my heart for this man, who has stood by me through the worst, most insane, seemingly endless moments of my life. The trauma of it all wasn't easy on him too, but he stayed, took care, still takes care of me, and has never complained, never made me feel a burden, nor rationalized his support. His kindness, generosity, the legendary, I see you. I see how hard you try and how hard you push. You're a man of your word. I'm grateful for the little things and the big things. Ow. Happy birthday, darling. Ow. And this one is from Essinam Ose to her husband, Sami Ose. This can Newmont, only Africa. come from Essinam. Mm. I, I was wondering, I mean, make the coffer <laughs> left, right? I, I was telling Mama Vida, because she's not romantic, she can't put words like this. Together. Never, ever, ever. No, 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 no. Mama Vida, mm. you'll never get some. Yeah. Heaven and earth. What, what a lucky girl that she'll wish you yes, something. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but, yes. you know, Essinam, yeah. 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 Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> this uh, is, what they say, hopeless, romantic. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a romantic this complex. is 
proper husband appreciation. Oh, mm. okay. well, some of you are busy online oh. saying men are trash, oh. men are I trash. I can't believe that. Yeah. People S are celebrating their man. Uh, Sinem is celebrating her yes, husband. That's right. Yes. Then you guys are using that as an opportunity. Uh, but we <laughs> yes, take we every opportunity. Yeah, yeah we know you. <laughs> okay. well, listen. listen, it's a, uh, a happy 60th birthday, actually, to Professor Margaret. Japong, happy 60th birthday to you, ma'am. We appreciate you for your selfless life, uh, family, and professional life. God richly bless you. It's from your husband. Yeah, uh, Professor, Professor Japong. Japong, yes. Yeah, that means that he but will no, do something. No, no. Wait, but this one, he says it's from Johnny and the girls. Ah, uh -huh. so I didn't know that he could call the show <laughs> name Johnny. Hey, Johnny, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Professor Johnny. Yeah, Enduro. Professor Margaret Japon. Happy okay. 60th birthday to you, man. That's lovely. So today is the birthday of Dokas Abodapi Lumo and also Ivan Stre Mensa. Uh, Dokas is the daughter of a former, long standing, one of the oldest. The man was Teu Chairman for like, I don't know if he's still, he has retired now. That is uh, Dan Lumo. Very old man. They call him oh. Comrade Lumo. Yeah, you know the okay, name, right? Yes, I do. He, hey, no, I do. He was Teo Chaman when you started uh, journalism. That's like four decades, <laughs> ago, four decades ago. At least. Yes, at, at least. least. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. it's a happy birthday to Linda Ansong, Assemblywoman for Ayawa So Central Municipal. is from your family. Enjoy your birthday today, Linda Ansong. All right. Now, guys, have you heard that Champion Carbolic Soap, popularly known as Guardian Soap, is now Life Boy Carbolic Soap? Yeah, the red soap, popularly known as Guardian Soap, that treats your skin from rashes and protects you from germs, now bears the Life Boy logo. It's now called Life Boy Carbolic Soap. Imagine a soap that doesn't only care for your skin, but also provides unbeatable germ protection for you and your family. Unilever Ghana's Life Boy Carbolic Soap does just that. Visit your nearest store to get your Life Boy Carbolic Soap today. It's a new name, yet the same 99% skin production uh, protection sorry, against germs. A Yagadi and Dadanara. Uh, you can get Life Boy Carbolic Soap at any uh, shop near you. Call the customer care center toll free on 0800 2030. And ICGC Holy Ghost Temple Adenta is inviting you to the Easter edition of the Spiritual Emphasis Program. And it's from tomorrow, Tuesday, 26th of March to Friday, 29th of March at 6.30 p.m. each night. Ministry now, Reverend Dr. Roberts and Pia Kofi, General Overseer of the Global Revival Ministries and host, Prophet Christopher Yawano, Senior Pastor of ICGC Holy Ghost Temple, Adenta. Don't miss these four nights of divine encounter with the Lord. Remember, it's from tomorrow, Tuesday, 26th to Friday, 29th of March at 6.30 p.m. each night at the ICGC Holy Ghost Temple in Adenta, Frafraha, near the Frafraha Community Senior High School. For further inquiries, please call 302 Five one 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 five one, or just find ICGC Holy Ghost Temple on social media. At ICGC Holy Ghost Temple. Now, are you looking for a freight forwarding company to handle both your inbound and outbound shipments? If yes, look no further. IAS FedEx offers a wide variety of international freight services, with, which should include air freight, uh, sea freight, be it less container load LCL or full container load FCL. There's also the customs clearance and documentation. All of that is done by IAS and FedEx. Our international operations link more than 200 countries, supported by extensive domestic networks in all key markets and offer a range of fast and direct freight services to suit your needs. We have dedicated staff who have in-depth knowledge in our local customs, clearance processes, and procedures. IAS, FedEx, pre-finances, freight pickups, up to an agreed threshold for our clients. Of course, terms and conditions apply. Please contact us now for free consultation on international freight services and customs clearance processes. These numbers will help you out. 050-160-5000 or 050-163-1000. With IAS Ghana, your freight is firmly secured. All right. Well, when we come back, free SHS is on the table. In fact, empty plates uh, highlights a problem that really costs about 70% of the entire budget of free SHS. So when we return, we will remind you of what the documentary said. We will amaze you with what we learned from the dialogue, and then we will reassure you 
with their often simple solutions with which we can move forward. Stay with us. Hello. We've all been there doing something dangerous to our teeth and suffering the consequences. Now, in that moment, you wish you hadn't, right? It's another episode of Time with the Dentist. I'm your dentist, Dr. Gwendolyn Amakwe Baiche, and this program is sponsored by Pepsodent in partnership with Ghana Dental Association. Today, let's talk about a few of the things that we do to our teeth and subject our mouth to that are harmful. Some of these habits have been with us for so long that they have become a part of us. But there's no habit that you cannot break if you put your mind to it. The first is smoking. Smoking cigarette. Many of you, I'm sure, are aware of the harmful effect smoking cigarettes can have on the general health. But what you also need to know is that smoking is one of the most destructive habits for your oral health. It is one of the major causes of bad breath and teeth discoloration due to the tar and nicotine present in it, and also the increased buildup of tartar and plaque that it causes. Other effects on your oral health include gum disease, which progresses faster in smokers compared to non-smokers. And we all know by now that gum disease can lead to tooth loss. Nicotine in cigarettes reduces the flow of blood to tissues of the mouth, and good blood flow is needed for healing following surgical procedures, like when you have your tooth taken out. So in effect, smoking can delay healing in the mouth. There can also be loss of density of the jawbone, inflammation of the salivary glands, which will lead to decrease in salivation. And very soon we will learn the importance of saliva to our oral health. Lastly, smokers are more at risk of developing oral cancer. To those of us who smoke, it certainly can't be an easy habit to quit. But with the necessary help, you can. Don't wait until it's too late. The second poor habit is the use of our teeth as tools. Whether opening bottles with our teeth, ripping packages, cutting fabrics, or holding objects with our teeth, you are putting yourself at risk of cracking, chipping your teeth, or even injuring your gums especially to our tailors and dressmakers, fisher folks, carpenters, who tend to use the teeth as tools at work. Let's do well to put a stop to the habit. Our dear mechanics who use their mouth to siphon fuel from car tanks using rubber tube, you're exposing your mouth, including your teeth, to very toxic substance, which can erode the tooth surface. Accidentally swallowing or aspirating the substance can also be very harmful to other parts of your body. The last poor habit I would like to talk about is brushing your teeth too hard and especially with the hard bristled toothbrush. While we encourage you to brush your teeth often, please use a soft to medium bristled toothbrush like the Pepsodent toothbrushes. These are gentle on your teeth and gums and are also able to clean hard to reach areas of the mouth. Let's stop brushing aggressively. This list is not exhaustive. There are others like crushing ice with the teeth, biting your nails and grinding the teeth. Tooth discoloration is when the perceived color of the tooth looks deviated from normal. And what is normal? So the teeth typically are very white in very young children, off-white in adults, and whitish yellow as you age. When you use your teeth as openers, you can crack or chip your tooth. This can affect your smile. Your teeth will look unesthetic. It could feel sensitive. And depending on how bad the chip is, you could even feel pain and eventually lose your tooth. Bad habits are not easy to break, but can be broken. Let's put in every effort to stop these poor oral habits. Remember to always brush your teeth twice daily with a fluoride toothpaste like Pepsodent and visit the dentist regularly. Your teeth will thank you. This campaign is proudly brought to you by Pepsodent in partnership with Ghana Dental Association.
It's a perfect opportunity this Ramadan Karim to make it an extra special season for your family and friends with Melcom. With affordable products ranging from groceries, electronics, homeware, kitchenware, furniture and more, you've got all your needs sorted. Ramadan Mubarak to our Muslim family. Terms and conditions apply. Melcom, where Ghana shops. Join us at the Junction Mall this Easter season. Come and experience the best shopping and leisure destination with optimum customer service. There are lots of fun and entertaining activities for everyone. Come experience our Easter discount sales from the 29th of March to the 1st of April. Holy Saturday acoustic performance on the 30th of March. And on Easter Sunday, the 31st of March, a special choral performance. In addition, on the 1st of April, we climax our Easter celebrations with Junction Mall Day with live band, kids' fun games, snooker, table tennis, basketball, video games, and more. At Junction Mall, our security is top notch with excellent security measures to keep everyone safe during the season at the mall. Follow us at the Junction Mall GH on Facebook and Instagram or call or WhatsApp us on 0540-022-1774 for more information. The Junction Mall. Join, explore, shop, and joy. Go TV is stepping up your entertainment from the 15th of January at no extra cost to you. If you are on Go TV value, upgrade to Go TV Plus to watch Go TV Max. Already on Go TV Plus? Upgrade to Go TV Max to enjoy Go TV Super. And if you are on Go TV Max, upgrade to Go TV Super to enjoy the best of the best on Go TV Super Plus. Don't wait. Step up your entertainment today. It's on us. Go TV. Love it. Tis and see supply. Coffee in your cup. Enjoy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always the best bet. On Joy 99.7 FM. remind you of the problem and then together we will craft the solutions all right first let me remind you that kingdomstoreonline.com awaits your perusal go check out the amazing products quality office essentials equipment furniture stationery from kingdom books and stationery and of course uh, you can pay for all of these items via momo on the website and then just wait for your delivery if you're in accra or tema you get free delivery as well always a plus Terms and conditions do apply at Kingdom. Quality and affordability are their hallmarks. Now, dear Valley customer, we are happy to inform you that MTN has restored normal internet network capacity. This should be good news to everybody. To provide improved data services, I hear people say, Hooray! <laughs> we appreciate your patience during the recent service interruption. Please know that the repair works on the undersea cables are still ongoing. And we expect this process to take about five to seven weeks. We are therefore utilizing alternative cables to support our customers. Good news. We'll update you when meaningful progress has been made on the repair works. Now, for customers who may have lost special data bundles as a result of the disruption, we will restore them and notify you directly. We thank you for your continued loyalty and support and look forward to providing you with, with the best possible services. This is good news coming from MTN about the restoration of normal data services to all. 
All right. Well, listen, let's let's get into this, okay? Um, and Empty Plates was a landmark documentary by Joy News. It revealed in clear detail the serious problems with the feeding of our SHS students. Let's remind ourselves of the highlights. It is without doubt that the free SHS policy has made it possible for children whose parents could not have afforded secondary education to have the opportunity to continue their education. But a key component of the policy that cannot be overlooked in ensuring that children enjoy the implementation of the program is feeding. A grim reality that many are hesitant to speak about. Don't give you bread, don't give you money and sugar to do the bread. Sometimes they'll give you and, and, and sugar. They don't give you the flour. Sometimes they'll give you gari, they don't give you beans. They'll give you beans, they don't give you the gari. So you want to wonder how are you going to combine? Don't give you tea, tomatoes, they will not give you. It is for this reason I go undercover in the country's senior high schools in the Westin, Greater Accra, Northern, Oti, and central regions to investigate the irregular supply of food items by the government and the dire consequences faced by thousands of students. My name is Kwiti Nati. the free SHS policy began, food supply to schools was in abundance. The situation is no longer the case. Irregularities in food supply are an open secret, discussed in WhatsApp groups among senior high school heads and free SHS coordinators. My own filtration into these platforms has revealed desperate messages from schools across the central region, including Infantipim School, Adisado College, in Saba Presbyterian SHS, Asin Manso SHS, and the Brahman SHS urgently requesting adequate food supplies. Here in the central region, the harsh reality comes to life. A dining hall prefect, Sambali, informs first year students of the insufficient food supply. Their meals are reduced to simple often nutritionally inadequate options. This situation is not unique to the central region, but is echoed across schools in other regions. We have no food and the schools. And the master is in Accra now, fighting for food, for our own benefit. So we are pleading with you to manage the little here. And we promise you very soon there will be enough food for us, so that we can all enjoy ourselves. Thank you. Entire school communities are despondent. Worry is visibly written on the faces of hundreds of students especially those first-year students who are experiencing life outside the comfort of their homes for the very first time. This dietary monotony was particularly challenging for some, a student I met at University Practice Senior High School, who described it as his toughest experience. Which food has been the bad? This one, you just rejected it, you didn't, after tasting the first one. Gary and soup. Why? What was wrong with it? It was small and it was not nice. It was small and it was not nice. But did you complain? Have you guys been complaining? Mm. You have not been complaining. Every night, Sam and his peers are haunted by this grim reality. These children go to bed burdened with thoughts about what they will eat when they wake up to a new day. This issue extends beyond the central region, as school authorities from several senior high schools in the Upper West region have also shared with Joy News. We, what we experience generally across the country is that occasionally we come under a bit of a pressure. Um, occasionally you may have a shortage of this or that. In fact, the biggest problem we have is schools generally not having 
all the consignment of food that they need at a go. And what I mean is that you have one point in time you have rice in large quantities. On the other hand, you do not have maize. You do not have, uh, you know, uh, granuts. You do not have uh, all the other items. So the temptation and the only way out is to utilize the rice. Kwesi Kwating speaks for the education ministry. He disagrees there are food shortages within the schools. Uh, in terms of food shortage uh, occasioned by irregular supply of food from buffer stock, uh, we've not had any formal complaint. Of course, unless, of course, we are able to get the list of those schools quickly, we intervene. I've always insisted that our duty as leadership is to always intervene when there are challenges. Of course, leadership is not there <laughs> because uh, uh, to, to immune ourselves from challenges. Coffee in your cup and joy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always the best bet on Joy 99.7 FM. All right, so that that's just a quick reminder of you know the, the content of that very important documentary. So of course we didn't leave it there. We decided to you know figure out a way forward, and we had a national dialogue. Let's listen to a wrap of the ideas shared in that. Over the period. The same amount is what is being remitted to schools, even if it comes at all. One CD, 56 pesos. One CD, 56 pesos. Pesos. Per, per student per day. day. That is three meals. As government is talking about inflationary pressures, it has not transmitted into the release of funds to school. This particular um, item that I mentioned, it, it takes care of gas. The one CD, 56 pesos. It takes care of gas, gas. as well. Everything that has to do with kitchen, firewood, some people have to buy firewood because they don't have it within their compound premises. Replacement of kitchen equipment, maintenance of kitchen equipment. And we all know in Ghana that so these are the pressures on the, our metrons now in the various institutions. There are periods in other schools where you go to the dining and you have hot water and soup served as lunch. Hot water? And soup and soup, which means that come with your gari. Mm. You go with your gari mm. because the soup is there, mm. so the hot water is there for you. Which means that there was no gari at that time. In my world school, they have given them gari with pepper as supper continuously, you know, for about because that was what was available at that time. You won't have bread. You have to buy your own bread for breakfast. There have been schools that where you go for breakfast and you have to carry your sugar because there's no there, there, there was no sugar at that point in time. And so if it's a week, you have to carry your sugar for that week. And they will call home mm. and you have to restock. restock for them, you know. So these are um, happening. And the fact that it is inadequate, what is on the plate it's not just enough for a growing boy or a growing girl. They are supposed to be having balanced meals. And these balanced meals will give them the energy to do work. So every meal that is offered to these children is an opportunity to put them up there, to be able to compete internationally in terms of their performance, in terms of their height, in terms of their growth. In the history of the implementation, there have been instances where, under normal circumstances, certain utterances uh, made by individual heads uh, or certain actions should not have been as serious as it. When we went to a uh, Western region for our conference, mm. in the welcome address, of our president. Yes, I remarked that the free HSS policy needed to be reviewed. It was a big problem. <laughs> and uh, we were summoned. And I, I'm, talk, I'm, I'm being very serious about it. Mm. Just the use of the word review. To totally say that victimization has not, had not existed or it didn't happen in one way or the other, ah, well, I don't know. But for me, I think in mm. one way or the other, unfortunately, it happened. <laughs> and I may not be able to give you the statistics now mm. by writing it happened. And I tell you, I tell you that even this, uh, you know, this uh, program, when it was advertised, <laughs> if I tell you the number of cautions that I got, I don't think I'm coming to a slaughterhouse. I'm only coming to air my views, <laughs> or not my, even my personal view, but the view of Charles, mm. which in any case is nothing new <laughs> anyway. Has there been any single headmaster who has been sacked or demoted 
or punished just because the person came out. I'm mm. not sure the suggestion is also that mm. because there is a free SHS policy, in terms of internal disciplinary measures, mm. we should just keep quiet on it. Because, look, you see, the point I want to make is that mm. if indeed headmasters are afraid to speak, what also happens to their own associations like NAGRAT, CHAS, NAT, and CCT, which has become more, more or less the official spokesperson of these head teachers okay. in all. Mm. But I'm saying that there has not been a single instance where any head teacher has been victimized or demoted on account of speaking on free SHS policy. Parents would bear me out. This is why parents have had to develop all kinds of means and strategies. I know of parents who are paying women in the vicinity of the schools that their wards are attending to feed them just because they are not getting enough food Mm. or the food they are getting is of a, a very poor quality. Okay. I know of parents who would prepare food that can last for two or three days and smuggle that food to the schools to okay. give to the world. It's just one of the reasons why mm. we cannot continue with this firefight. You cannot run a program for almost eight years mm. and yet be adamant to a call, a clarion call for a review. Coffee in your cup. Enjoy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always the best to end on Joy 99.7 FM. Mm. So yeah, that's uh, that's 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 how the dialogue went. Now it's our turn. Okay, we now know the problem. We've accepted. Everybody has accepted. There's a problem, right? So now we can start moving forward with the solutions. And this is your show. So we are very interested in your solutions. That's what we want. Your solutions. How do we move forward from here? What do we do to save these kids? To nourish these kids and ensure that they can study and take advantage of what should be a brilliant initiative, a brilliant policy. So you can call us 0302 or 055 997 solutions solutions to the feeding problem with free SHS. Ray. In fairness, we can say to ourselves that, and that might not be the only problem with free SHS. There are other problems. But parents are particularly concerned about leaving their ch children in school when they are underfed, sometimes poorly fed. And we are talking about children who are 12, 13, sometimes even 11 years who are going to school now. Some time ago, uh, the average age will be around 15. Even though 15 years are also going to school. First and foremost, whoever introduced the idea mm. that we are going to keep people in boarding house and pay for them throughout might have certainly, and we were paying for Tamo, we were paying tuition, we were providing textbooks, we were paying all of that. It is the contribution to some of these things and the feeding that families will do. So it is there's nothing wrong with determining that we actually spend six thousand optimally in feeding the child. Out of the six thousand per year, you the parent, or we should find others contributing three thousand so that but if a, a parent can within the whole year pay just three thousand Ghana City to supplement, now they are buying things for their children. Now do you know what they do? You buy the sachet of milk powder. You buy sugar in excess uh, amounts. You buy all the other things. Because essentially, you would need to supplement what the child is getting from these dining halls. Mm -hmm. So they go and see the Coco Sakura. Then they will actually have to put in their own sugar. They put in their own milk powder. Then they buy bread from outside their halls, their dining halls, and eat it with it. If some children who do not have the money survive in these things, it will be problematic. Let's start hearing some solutions isaac james is in legon isaac james good morning to you good morning reverend ky how are you <laughs> no bad my brother yeah, all right let's get started my regards to raymond my friend mm -hmm. yes sir in fact um the problem with the feeding you see it's a political issue yes they said they they send their money they they ask the people that supply the food to send the food but because they have given such jobs to political food soldiers what they do is if they go to this school and they are supposed to supply 200 bags of rice they will supply 100 and write 200 those so those in charge also 
if they get to know that, they will also take their share. So they will take 50, the teaching staff will also be taken. So then it will end up that our children will, will, will be starved for this thing. Therefore, the, what do you call it, centralized way of uh, supplying food is the biggest problem. So we have to deal with that. Let every school find their own supplier, and then if you give them the money to pay the suppliers, that will solve the problem. If it is not adequate, the parents, we are ready to also support. In fact, the free SHS is one of the best policies that has ever happened to this country. So we have to do everything right to make it work. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, Isaac James. Uh, we're going to a Duke room now. Hi, Kobe. Good morning. Good morning, Kujo. Hmm. So, solutions. Kujo, I, I, my, my daughter completed the free SHS um, uh, policy thing where I experienced, even at the beginning, it was not good. Because I think she was part of the first batch. And I could say that this thing would never work. And why we, we don't see this is because we are making everything political. Hmm. If you want solutions to this free SHS problem, we should not make it political. Because for me, the idea that they were selling to us is that they want people to get access to secondary school education. No problem. If you want people to get access, find a very nice and realistic way. Not this way they are doing it. How can you feed all these people, even the time that we are paying fees? I, I think the system was struggling. How much more now that you say that everybody should just bring their children to school and oh, the government is going to give textbooks, is going to give uniforms, is going to give um, feed them three times? Uh, they, they can never do it. So they should stop this thing of um, it's, a, a, it's an MPP manifesto. Uh, it's a policy that we have to make sure that it happens by all means because we promise it to happen. It's not your money. It's Ghana's money. You don't have the right to do what you are doing. They are killing us. What is this? They should be realistic. In fact, sometimes some of us are trained so well not to insult the elderly. But what they are doing is so annoying. Can't mm. they be realistic? See that this thing is all working. It's failing. And they are, they are harming the kids. As you said, they are adolescents. The kind of meals they need to grow up is not what they are giving them. And yet, we get people like Quincy Kwati or whoever, the PRO, they are all politicians. <coughs> they work for the ministry, all right, but he's a politician. So you come and talk as if, oh, you bring in the list of the schools that are suffering and will quickly um, uh, solve it. Say who? How can he solve it? Have they been there? Most of these politicians, their children are not attending this free SHS thing. They should come out and prove to us that their children are there. And if they are there, they are sending their bodyguards and their aides to take food to them. So they should spare us. It's so bad. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, then. So, uh, Freddie is in Accra. Hi, Freddie. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yes, I believe you asked of the solution to the That's problem. That's right. Solution is... Uh, I have a word in the uh, final year. As a parent, it is my responsibility. So even if government is saying that he want to take it and do it, and I don't like it, I also owe it a duty to myself and my ward mm -hmm. to also ensure that he gets enough needed food. No school will reject or prevent a parent from sending food to the child. I regularly visit my ward at school with food. Okay, they, I always leave it at the security and he always gets everything intact. So as a parent, it is my duty to ensure that that is done. However, government should also monitor the people who are supposed to send the food regularly. They have a better way of monitoring it and ensure that they get good food. Government should increase the funding. Uh, it's not everything that can be done on credit basis. So if they don't have the food, they should do it. Op go to the open market, market associations, get the quality food for our wards. And definitely, these children are coming. Very soon, they are also going to vote and reward the government. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kumasi is our next stop. Jeffrey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? My name is Jeffrey. I'm calling from Kumasi. Wonderful. Thanks for tuning in to Love FM. Yeah, let me start by saying that I'm not a politician. And... 
what I want to say about this spirit is that I think you guys should stop talking, stop talking about food matter. We have all been to school. Some of us, we have to put gari and sugar, sugar in our pocket before we go to school. Sometimes roasted cassava before we go to school. Here is a, a country where we have free ice They say free. Government is paying tuition and so many other things. What prevents the parents to give them their children provisions to school? We have all seen it. My parents are giving me provisions to school when I was in the boarding house. The government is meeting you halfway. So what is the noise? Have you gone to school to, 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 to feed or to stay? All right. Thank you for sharing. That's Jeffrey in Kumasi. Papa Bisu calls us from Accra. Hi, Papa. How are you, my brother? Ah, we're managing you. Huh. The system is something. That's why in the wisdom of the 1992 constitution, we should operate this thing progressively. But we find ourselves in this problem. How do we solve it? Like you said, saying, first, let's exempt the rich parents' kids from, from it. I'm trying to say that let the rich parents take care of their what needs in a boarding house. And the poor ones should be in, uh, uh, be fed by the by, by, by the government. Again, we should have um, farms in all the schools, farms, where we can, you know, plant certain foods that will be needed in the school. Mm -hmm. I get to my point. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, to we should include the private schools who are not in, in it right now, so that accommodation-wise, we wouldn't see students, you know, sleeping on the floor or having students, you know, laying in a classroom whereby they'll be sitting on blocks and using, what do you call it, uh, their top boxes and then trunks as tables to write on. You understand me? In fact, we need a whole, we need total review like His Excellency John Mahama said, and the president is playing politics with it. I mean, Leonardo saying that if you go for what do you call it, uh, the NDC, it means review is cancellation. You can imagine. So the president should get serious, sit down properly, and you know, make sure that things work on well with this free SHS. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Papa Bisu. Let's go to the Republic of Kaswa and talk to Ahmed. Hi, Ahmed. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, very well, thank you, my brother. For me, as the first solution, in fact, the, the very first principle of carrying all the students to the senior high is the very first big mistake we make. What then is the essence of examination? You make people write examination, go write pass and then you go forward if you fail you don't go forward so the very first step at asking all the children somebody gets uh, aggregate eight he passes he goes to senior high somebody gets 48 he goes to senior high then what is the essence of the examination i think the very first step should have been that those who pass very well get the admissions that way, we'll be able to cut the number down. I mean, it is not everybody who is born to go to school from primary all the way to senior high or to the, even to even the university. People are with us today, grown-ups, who never went to school, but they are well to do in the field of endeavor. They are doing. So please, for me, the first step is that people must write, pass, and then you get the admissions. When you get the admission, that is when we will begin to even solve the very first problem of accommodation and feeding. That is my first solution to the whole problem of mm. this free SHS. Okay. Good morning. Thank you and good morning to you, Ken. Uh, sorry, Ahmed. Uh, let's take one more call. Uh, Ken is in Kumase. Hi, Ken. Good morning, Kudu. Good morning to you. Kudu, let me ask you this. Um, is it in Ghana? Is there a need of our program? Uh, that's a natural cause. Tell me, 
road accident, Galamsi, uh, electricity challenge, and then this free educators that you are talking about, I mean the feeding. They are all self cause. Mm. So what do we need a solution to something that we cause it ourselves? The solution is just simple. You just have to stop what you're doing. That is bringing you these challenges or problems. Look, if somebody say, mm, these people that we are teaching, these people that are learning, they, are, they have food, Master, it's a lie. Hmm. We are on board and then we know what is happening. And for me, sometimes I, I'm like, um, maybe it's a strategy for Nana Abufado and then Mr. Competent Legendary Liar using to reduce the uh, overpopulation. Because um, I'm thinking, like for instance, if I have a ward in school and then he comes out to tell me that dad or aunt and brother, I don't have food to eat, I'll just say, and then if I can't afford, I'll just uh, let him uh, stop schooling. There are other avenues out there. Uh, so maybe the strategy that they are using is too bad. Good morning for you. Well, thank you for calling, Ken. Uh, we appreciate your call. We thank all of you who called in uh, with solutions. All right. Um, okay. I, I, I think I want us to move on. Uh, <laughs> I want us to move on. I wanted to say something. The, but the I don't solution think in that series. Mm, I mean, it can get better. See, yeah. let's not pretend to ourselves, right? We we know that there is a huge challenge with cash in the Republic of Ghana today. Everybody knows that. We are not kids. So we can't act the proverbial ostrich and bury our heads in the sand and pretend that everything is okay. The alternative is that if you want, and you see, because it became a political issue, that, oh, one said progressively free, the other said completely free. Mm -hmm. So even if you ask people to contribute a peswa to it, it is deviating from the standard of completely free. <laughs> so you still act the proverbial stretch and pretend that you have provided everything that's needed in their schools. Yeah. But parents know that they have been asked to pay for things left, right, center in some form. You find it unreasonable, but you can't complain. You can't complain because it's the welfare of the child that's at stake here. And again, when they say so, when they say, you know, some time ago, they even dissolved all of these so-called PTAs and said, you can have your parent associations now. Now, these groups are basically funding education feeding and all of that in different forms there's nothing wrong with that all students are actually building solar projects they are building schools and all of that nobody has said it is wrong but when you purport that everything will be done by yourself when people say that let's discuss how we can make it better and you rule out any options of doing so what you're basically saying is that people should not care about their children and their welfare and that regardless of how things go, you are going to do it differently. I am happy. And I think it's not too late. The various stakeholders, and I've seen the Cali Bishops of Conference make suggestions. I have also seen the teachers themselves, the Nagat and Co. also make their own set of suggestions. I've seen come out of ISE a very properly reviewed academic work, which has seen the data and worked on it. It should be sensible to sit with these people and fashion a way forward. If we are deemed to be ordinary people whose views do not matter. Those people who have done extraordinary research and carry professorial titles should be sensible to sit them on the table and say, let's take this one in this direction. Mm -hmm. Because government go, government come. But the education of our people is for the future. Today, you are launching smart schools. How can anybody... Who is being poorly fed? Learn. And I heard somebody in the most preposterous form say that we've <laughs> always had food challenges. Yes, in 78 and 79, in 82, and even in 2005. Is that what we should be doing for our children too? Really? No, we can't advance as a people. Because there's been a but problem in time pass, we should continue with that. But it's not even accurate to say that we've always had these problems. They are. These problems I, I, are I new. mean, some of us know that there was never a problem these with... These problems uh, are uh, new. Uh, mm, mm, uh, how do you call that thing? Sugar. There was never a problem with bread. You may not like the bread. You may think it's too hard. You may think it's too small. But you get it. Today, they they make soup and provide hot water so that you bring your gari. Ah. And you say this problem has existed since when? I mean, and we should not be pretending that this is a private person's policy. 
this is a government and a state policy. That's you are actually, responsible to be accountable to the people. That's on actually it. the point on which I think we should end. Let's remember that free SHS is being funded by our money. It's our money which is being thrown into an exercise that is not yielding the results we want for our children. 70% of the cost is going into food and we are not feeding them. We need to be concerned enough about this to want to do better. All right, thanks to all of you who contributed. Now, why is a doctor apologizing for putting out information about Kwame Eugene when he got admitted to a hospital? What are your rights as a patient if you find yourself in a hospital? What kind of information about you can be given? Who can that information be given to? Who can information not be given to? What sort of information is privileged and cannot go out without your say-so? What exactly is it that was wrong about what this doctor did? We'll be speaking to somebody who trains doctors, a professor of medicine, to help us understand what our rights are as patients and what doctors' responsibilities are when it comes to communicating medical information after these. The countdown is on. Get ready for another awesome encounter at Harvest Price 2024, the Anna Powell Edition. Join friends and family to praise and worship with anointed ministers Alvin Slaughter. Phil Thompson. Harvest Gospel Choir. And the Harvest Theater. Harvest Praise is on Good Friday, 29th March 2024 at the First Love Center near Trinity Seminary, Lagos. Time, 4 p.m. sharp. Dial star 725 star 1155 hash on all networks and buy your tickets now. Single, 80 Ghana CDs. Double, 140 Ghana CDs. And VIP, 150 Ghana CDs. Tickets are also available at Bachelor Total, Sunny FM, and all Harvest Chapel branches in Accra. Come find rest as you praise your birthings away. Harvest praise, get your praise on. in your cup and joy on the set the super morning show is always, always the best, best bet on joy 99.7 fm you welcome back is the super morning show now this is how the daily guide reported the story they said and i quote dr amina haroon a medical practitioner has allegedly been suspended from her duties for three months following her unauthorized disclosure of musician kwame eugene's health status this, the incident occurred at the University of Ghana Hospital where the artiste was receiving treatment after a car accident. This is the reportage of the Daily Guide. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the suspension of Dr. Amina Haroon came after she posted on social media regarding Kwame Eugene's condition, which sparked backlash. In her post, she revealed that the musician was hospitalized and urged followers to pray for him, violating patient confidentiality protocols in the process. Okay, now there's been an apology, hasn't there? Yes, moment? yes. Uh, he has issued. She issued a statement, and um, this says that I'm writing to express my sincere apology for the violation of code of ethics I made on Monday, 18th of March, 2024. I am aware that my actions not only caused inconvenience but also impacted the team's overall performance. I take full responsibility for my actions and understand the seriousness of the matter. I'm highly regretful of the inconveniences caused to the patient due to my violation of our code of ethics. And it's in, in quotes, mistakes are made for lessons to be learned. Henceforth, I uh, will not repeat such mistakes in the future and I'm trying my best to solve this as soon as possible. I accept the consequences of, my, of both my license being suspended for three months and will gladly serve my punishment by staying away from any hospital facility unless 
is being called to sorry there really is no excuse for what i did i promise i didn't have any bad intentions and can only apologize this is completely and totally my fault i feel horrible and never meant to upset anyone please accept my most sincere apology sincerely dr amina harun doctor okay. of medicine psychologist therapist mm. So the, the tweet that is uh, supposed to have caused all of this uh, was uh, tweeted on a handle um, that has uh, th- th- uh, at Nana Ya, right? Mm-hmm. And, yeah. uh, and, uh, and the name Dr. Amina. And uh, it says, it said, Kwame Eugene is here at the hospital with us and it ain't looking good. Kindly send him a prayer. Mm-hmm. We have Professor Dr. Ernest York. He's a consultant, physician, and endocrinologist at the University of Ghana Medical School, uh, Kolebu Teaching Hospital, and he's the vice president of the Ghana Medical Association. He joins us now with some education and hopefully updates. Uh, Prof, good morning to you. Good morning, and good morning to our listeners as well. Mm, thank you so much for your time. Uh, m- maybe we'll start with updates. So, can you confirm for us that a medical officer by this name has uh, been suspended for three months? Well, you know, um, let me put in perspective. When we heard the news, we were taken aback a bit as an association. And uh, so we got to work and, you know, con- um, remember that initially the managers of Prime Eugene had issued a statement that he was at UGMC. That was the only mention of UGMC in this matter. And we got to them. And they say that they have nobody with that name on their record. Um, either previously had um, worked there or currently working there. Then we got to the regulator. And they have no such person on their road of doctors or even at the general system. So, uh, quite clearly, um, it looks like an imposter who is pretending to be a doctor and seeking to align doctors and put the name of the profession into this. You know, so um, this is how far we know on this case. So Th- that's a very that. important clarification, Prof. Are you saying, uh, in your capacity as Vice President of the Ghana Medical Association, that there is no Dr. Amina Harun registered with you who has been suspended for three months? Absolutely correct. Um, so either with the Ghana Medical Association as a member, either with uh, prof- the regulatory body as a practicing doctor, that is the Medical and Dental Council, and again, as an employee of the VGMC, as purportedly uh, where uh, he or she was working, she or she belongs to no none of these institutions. And therefore, we can't say from our check, as far as we know, that he is not a medical doctor. This is very interesting. Um, now we 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 have cited the um, the Twitter uh, not not Twitter anymore the X page of this individual where they've labelled themselves Doctor Amina M D uh, uh, described themselves as certified doctor of medicine certified therapist and psychologist Wesley Girls S H S old student. Mm-hmm. And Abdul Rahman University of Saudi Arabia graduate, mm-hmm. and they've got several tweets, uh, usually about you know medical issues, but also other tweets about other things. But what your your official position is, which you're sharing with us today, is that this individual, whoever he or she may be, is not a medical doctor in Ghana not a member of the Ghana Medical Association. And, and could you, you couldn't be more right, and that is the case. And let me just um, remind listeners, or point listeners, to some red flags that you can see in the tweet uh, or the expose and subsequent uh, messages that have come out that, you know, that alerts you that this practitioner is an imposter. You know, even the designation as doctor of medicine, it's not your regular title that practicing doctors in this country would use. And then a psychologist with a therapist. Which side? Which therapist? And even the language suggests that this person doesn't know what he's saying. And to suggest that he's been suspended for three months, that by the regulator, is only the regulator that can 
suspend one license. And that case has not been brought to their attention. So it tells you that somebody set out to deceive the public and also misinform and malign the person that um, noble doctor is belong to. So I would, at this stage, call on the police to investigate uh, the such an imposter and then so that the misinformation and the mischaracterization uh, will be corrected. Well, Doc, while we have you, we still want to take advantage of even such an unfortunate situation to educate our audience. So maybe you can tell us, uh, you know, in as briefly as possible, as a patient, when I attend any medical facility, what are my rights when it comes to the protection of my information? Who can be told what? Look, um, um, uh, could you see, patient's rights, so, um, patient confidentiality falls on a broad category of patient rights, you know. And the medical doctor was in training during his practice. And indeed, during the trading ceremony, that actually really doctor emphasizes patient confidentiality. And the Hippocratic Oath clearly says, and this is century old, uh, dictum, which says, and I paraphrase that, the patient information, you know, cannot be closed, you know, even in his or her death. So you are obliged by your stage of a profession to do that, unless, of course, um, you've been compelled by law uh, to do so. And there are certain situations that arise, maybe for investigative purposes, and you're establishing truth to, to the presence of a, a misconduct that are. So patients are absolutely entitled to privacy of their information, you know, um, um, you know, and, and that must be expected. So if a patient feels that your rights in that respect have been violated, your first point of call is to complain to the management or the safety examining or management. And then, of course, you still have other expertise, um, remedies available to including reporting the misconduct uh, to the collector. We take civil or uh, legal action against the entity or the practicing uh, uh, physician. So these are the, the remedies that are allowed to any patient to violate. Right. Now, I have realized that there are times when even you, the patient, who ought to be entitled to all of your own information, even you are sometimes denied your own information. You go to a diagnostic center, they do tests, you ask them to tell you wh whether they found anything, and they refuse to do so. They tell you to wait until your doctor gives you your report. But it's your own information, is it not? Should you not have an, a, a complete right to your own information? So, uh, uh, in general terms, you have complete right to your own information. But the specific situation where you first for diagnostic center, you are asking a laboratory technician or scientist to disclose the content of the laboratory investigation. And that will ordinarily also come with interpretation. An interpretation of laboratory results is solely in the domain of medical justice. And laboratory physicians, uh, sorry, clinicians or scientists are not. So they are right to tell you that go and see your doctor who put a meaning. Because there are consequences if uh, maybe the information is bad, is not what you desire. There are ways and manner with which we bring such bad news to patients. And they don't have one, the legal remedy to do that to you. And secondly, they may be well, well equipped to deal with the consequences of breaking the news. But in general, yes, you're entitled to your information. And uh, if you write or ask for it, they should be able to give it to you. And only you. And, uh, or to somebody that you are fine that could receive the information in your behalf. Right. But laboratory results are interpreting as only in the domain of medical documents. Well, thanks for the education there. But I, I, the, the take home from this whole conversation is that this individual, this person, Dr. Amina uh, uh, Haroon, yeah. is not a doctor. There is no doctor registered by that name. No doctor has been suspended for three months as this doctor claims to have been suspended. None of that is true according to the Ghana Medical Association. Absolutely, yes. And then I would I go for that to say that I think it has caused some amount of fear and panic. And for me, if we pass events, uh, something we uh, think we can go by, uh, the police should be interested. 
to investigate who this doctor, who this supposed doctor is, and what the motive are. Because you see, mm-hmm. um, it violates patient confidentiality and the family of Sam Gigi may be hurt at this stage. Yeah. And I don't think you should allow it to pass. Well, the Ghana so Medical Association reported to the police. Well, we will review the situation. And let me also put in on uh, uh, this information now that um, after we act or uh, spoken to a UGMC, UGMC will also be issuing our official statement today right. to further clarify the situation. But we okay. continue to follow uh, the development and we will take to the public and date the public as and when we want to do so. Professor Ernest York is the um, vice president of the Ghana Medical Association. He also happens to be a consultant physician and endocrinologist at the University of Ghana Medical School, as well as Kolibu Teaching Hospital. If this pans out the way it's going, it just stresses the conversation that we've been having emerging about misinformation and disinformation. Mm. And the actors in that space now being more complex and complicated in their tools and how they operate and how this can take everybody on board from newspapers straight out, people being outraged to all of the responses. And the page is still live anyway. Hey, how can you claim to be a doctor then claim to have been suspended? When you are not. Anyway, uh, thank you all for listening. We appreciate it. Uh, we're back after this. Usually, we get special treatment only on our birthday. But imagine getting a special package every single day. That's what 80s Daily Deals gives you. You get unique voice and data deals exclusive to you. What's even better is it's affordable, reliable, and available. Start experiencing 80s daily deals. Dial star 533. It is without doubt that the free SHS policy has made it possible for children whose parents could not have afforded secondary education to have the opportunity. Come on, people, jump on the 80 daily deals train. When are we dealer now? Dial star 533 hash now and access awesome data and voice deals only from AT. Life is simple. drink big refreshing moment another quality product from trillium industries this advert is fda approved in life choice is good but choice plus safety is way better your safety and comfort is paramount under the cylinder recirculation model you can buy lpg in a safe environment all cylinders are inspected and maintained to the best safety standards so your safety is assured. Just take your empty cylinder to the nearest exchange point and swap it for a filled cylinder. Different cylinder sizes will be available to meet your pocket size. Imagine cooking in a smoke-free environment. This will improve the health and well-being of you and your family. Choose LPG in a safer model of distribution. Cylinder recirculation model. Securing your safety creating more jobs a message from the national petroleum authority under the patronage of the ministry of energy it's time to get you stepping and with dstv the only way is up because if you upgrade your dstv package now you'll get an even higher package on us so upgrade now and get boosted to enjoy even more live sport movie action local drama and big time fun for the kids Upgrade now and get boosted to the next package. Visit your multi-choice office or agent and upgrade today. Terms and conditions apply. Coffee in your cup. And 
joy on the set. Uh, the Super Morning Show is always the best bet on Joy 99.7 FM. Right, you're welcome back. And uh, listen, <laughs> Easter is here again. And you can now book a family trip with Maha Beach Resort this Easter holiday. You can stay two nights and get the third night for free with all meals inclusive, including dinner. With live band every evening starting from 5,100 Ghana cities for a couple. Now, from the 29th of March until the 1st of April, you can get this. Packages uh, are going to give you free access to all in house facilities. So that's swimming pool, gym, cinema uh, with popcorn, board games, snooker, uh, and entertainment. You also enjoy free airport pickup from Takrade on weekends. Terms and conditions apply. Now, you get fun activities like tours of their beautiful facility with an electric golf cart, splash playground mm -hmm. for the kids, bouncy castle, trampoline, bicycle rides, quad bike rides, boat rides to Maha Village, jet skis, banana boat, party boat ride, trip to Nzulezu, and so much more. Maha Beach Resort is a one-stop holiday destination for all families, couples, groups, private parties and weddings, honeymoons and so much more. They also cater for all, uh, corporate events and conferences. Call for your reservation now to avoid disappointment. Here's the number 0303-977773. Or you can call these mobile numbers 0501-570-684 or 0540-124-114. Email sm at maharesort.com. Social media is Maha Beach Resort and the website is maharesort.com. Dot com. Oh, you, you will take me there, right? No. Oh, now I've suffered because of uh, a, a, a lot of things <laughs> this year. Have you heard that Champion Carbolic Soap, popularly yeah. known as Guardian Soap, is now Live Bird Carbolic Soap? Oh, yes. You've heard that, right? Mm. Yes, that red soap, popularly known as Guardian Soap, that treats your skin from rashes and protects you from germs, now bears the Live Bird logo. It's now called the Live Bird Carbolic Soap. Imagine a soap that does not only care for your skin, but also provides unbeatable germ protection for you and your family. You delivers Ghana's uh, live bulk carbolic soap. That's that just for you. Visit your nearest store to get a live bulk carbolic soap today. It's a new name, yet same 99.9 percent .9 skin protection against germs. A garden dadanoa. You are you cannot get live bulk carbolic soap at any shop near you. Call our customer care center on this toll-free number 0800 200030. That's how you get champion carbolic soap. Okay, now are you ready to encounter the unmistakable power of God at work? Salvation, healing, miracles will break forth at the Good Friday Miracle Service 2024. Join evangelist Dag Heward Mills this year at the Accra Sports Stadium. The date is Good Friday, March the 29th, 2024 at 3 p.m. It's going to be an encounter to remember. The Good Friday Miracle Service with evangelist Dag Heward Mills. Amen. 29th of March, 2024 at the Accra Sports mm. Stadium. Don't miss it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I'm feeling the spirit already. Now it's been years of open hearted if anybody charity. Anybody needs a miracle, it's you. Yes, yes, yes. Is <laughs> yeah, yeah, right now okay. Now I, I want to do this without anybody interrupting my <laughs> wonderful. Work. It's been 22 years of impactful radio. Now you and Radio Max will on Easter Monday, the first of April, 2024, feed over 3,000 to 8,000 street children in Sekani Takade Metropolis. Radio Mass has made a permanent commitment to support street children over the past years with strong support and a contribution from our listeners in these difficult times. We must step up and reach out to let them know we are there for them. Every support for this worthy cause will be well appreciated. It can be cash or food items like tomatoes, uh, rice, onion, ginger, pepper, chicken, fish, cooking oil, water, takeaway packs, everything you can provide. You may also call us to pick up or bring it to the front desk of Radio Max 105.1 FM and uh, Escafu Aman Temp number 2 near Bethel Methodist Church. You can also send mobile money to 0243445144 or 0243734791. For more information, please call these numbers. And Radio Max Orange Kitchen. We care for you. 
All right. I'm going to make donation. You support me, right? Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, mm -hmm. listen, uh, we thank you all so much for joining us on this Monday morning edition of the show. We've got four more to go this week, and each one is going to be fantastic. Make sure you're a part of it. We're starting tomorrow at 10 minutes to 6. You better be there. Until then, stay with joy. My name is Kojo Yangson. I'm the morning.